God is not a man that he should lie. God is not a man that he should lie. God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. God is not a man that he should lie. Everything God has told you in your lifetime, you will see it come to pass. Let me shake unbelief. Everything God has told you, provided your spirit received it in your lifetime, you will see it come to pass. Everything God has told you and prophesying to you that in your lifetime, my God will make you see it come to pass. If he says you are lifted in your lifetime, you will see yourself lifted. If he says you will laugh in your lifetime, you will laugh. Do you believe this? When God speaks, he speaks because there is an ability behind his word that compels what he has said to come to pass. Hallelujah. If you ever hear God utter a word as a revealed word to you in your spirit or on the strength of the, an encounter with scripture, you must know that at the back of all the speakings of God is the power to bring it to pass. It says, blessed is she that believes. For unto her, it does not just stop at believing. There shall be a performance, not of everything, but of those things that were spoken by the mouth of the Lord. Hallelujah. Tonight, I want to encourage you. It's an unusual service. Shake away unbelief. Don't come and waste your time spectating. Don't come and waste your time doubting. Will God touch me? Will he visit me? And don't just come to clap for others. As wonderful as that is. Let there be an insistence, a holy anger, and a determination. Lord, something must happen to my life today. Lift your voice and pray. Something must happen to my destiny today. Someone who is serious with God, pray. Someone who is determined to leave this place rejoicing, pray. Someone who is angry at the reign of darkness over your life, pray. Kaparatos kaprande gebeleke to sabragatash Skabaranta braska de beleko Sabash kaparante paraketa fraska da balaka to sabrande gete Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God.
Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, we hail you, most high, we hail you, Lord, we hail you, we worship you. There is a river that is flowing in this place tonight. I saw this vision while I was praying. Now I'm seeing the vision again. It's a river that was in Ezekiel 47 flowing from the east side of the temple, flowing to destinies, flowing to lives, flowing to businesses. The river that flows from the throne bringing life to everything that has died bringing life to every dead organ bringing life to every dead cell bringing life to every dead business bringing life to every dead destiny hear ye the word of the lord that which was dead comes alive now that which was dead comes alive now that which was dead comes alive now that which was dead comes alive now. Dead organs, they come alive now. Dead businesses, they come alive now. Dead destinies, they come alive now. Dead prayer lives, dead passion for the things of God. Hallelujah. presence of God is mighty even in this place you are not wasting your time immersed in his presence immersed in his glory that is where miracles happen that is where signs and wonders happen that is where transformation encounters happen
Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. It's our prayer tonight. Let it cover all the earth. Ah. Let it cover all the earth. 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 Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover. glory rests upon your life when that glory rests upon your destiny when that glory rests upon your ministry all that will be left is beauty and grace and power supernatural manifestations that's what happens when the glory comes that's what happens when the glory rests upon you let it come Let it cover all the earth. 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 Let it cover If you're here and you're using a stretcher or you're using a walking stick, you cannot walk. Stand up and begin to walk now. Stand up and begin to walk now. Shabalakon Satabasadesh. Begin to do what you could not do now. Begin to do what you could not do now. Begin to do what you could not do now. Begin to do what you could not do now. There's someone you could not move your hands. It's like you had a problem. I want you to begin to move those hands now. Move your hand. Do what you could not do. The healing power of Jesus is already touching people. Touching people. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone you are following online. You have a problem with your neck. I don't know, it's like you have the neck bracelets. In the name of Jesus, begin to turn it left and right. Left and right. The power of God is upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Now, I want you to bring out, before we sit down, all those that the power of God will come on now. I will tell you what the impartation is for, and then that grace will rest upon them, and then will be seated. This is holy ground, and if you come here, you must come believing, you must come expecting. Hallelujah. Whilst the worship team were singing about restoration, I had loud in my spirit and I will restore and I will restore now I know that this applies to everybody but there are specific families that God wants to visit right now and the power of God will come on them I want you to bring them out right now in the name of Jesus every family that has been ordained for restoration 
by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare may that grace rest upon you now. Please bring them out very quickly in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that grace rest upon you, representing your family. Representing your family. Every family that has been tied down. You have lost things, you have lost people, you have lost opportunities. I bring you the restoring power of Jesus. The restoring power of Jesus. The restoring power from the front to the back. Whether you are an usher or not, please help them. In the name of Jesus, I bring you restoration. Even as revealed by the Spirit of the living God. Restoration, restoration, restoration. Come up and sing for me that song you sang on restoration. The song you just sang now, where's to sing that song singing on restoration? Restore everything that was lost. Restore. That's the grace that is resting upon you now. Everything that was stolen. Restore. Everything that was lost. Restore. sing it I'm still praying in the name of Jesus every manipulation on the times of your destiny such that time has gone and you've not been able to achieve anything I place a mantle upon you tonight take that grace may that anointing rest upon you restoration 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 receive it in the name of Jesus Everything that was lost, restore. Everything that was stolen, restore. Everything that was lost, restore. You will restore. I'm hearing in my spirit the time has come I don't know I don't know who this word is for but there is an anointing that is coming with this word I'm seeing the number 13 the Lord is saying the time has come receive that grace bring them out receive that grace the time has come it will not be delayed again the time has come the season has come the time has come the season has come by the spirit of the living God the time has come the Bible says to appoint unto them that morning Zion I prophesy to you as by the spirit the time has come the time has come the time has come the time has come in the name of Jesus for someone is the time for laughter for someone is the time for resurrection for someone is the time for advancement but by all means i speak to your spirit the time has come in the name of jesus christ the bible says john remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing when your time has come it also means every closed door must open Please be serious tonight. Let your heart be open. 
in the name of Jesus anyone under the sound of my voice for as long as you are connected here in the name of Jesus if there is a door that has been closed by witchcraft hear me close parikos kebarakatos yata by the manipulations of men in the name of Jesus that door opens now 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 Hallelujah. Seven. And I'm seeing fire coming on their hands physically. Physically. And the Lord is telling me, for some of you by this impartation, jobs, even jobs you did not apply for. Your hand is a symbol of productivity. Right now, eight of them, I don't know where you are. May that fire locate your hands. Locate your hands in the name of Jesus. Compelling productivity. Compelling productivity. Compelling productivity. Compelling productivity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. All this, my footballer friends, come. Your lifting has come. Oh, oh, oh. Your lifting has come. Listen to me, gentlemen, listen to me, listen to me. You see, I want, I want, let me have your attention. Do you know why I'm praying for you? I'm not praying for you because you are lifting your football boots up. And I'm not lifting, praying for you because you like football, no. We're in a season where God is releasing envoys and sending people across strategic places listen to me the purpose of the lifting of the saints is not just for fame the purpose of the lifting of the saints is not just for noise are we together there are many of you as ordinary as you are because in addition to your skill you have recognized that there is a grace that comes upon men I want to release something upon your life you will marvel you don't have to kneel father these gentlemen have come they want to go to the sports in the name of Jesus the apostolic has the mandate an anointing will come on you now and by this anointing may you go to the nations are you ready at the count of three one two three take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now take that anointing now in the name of Jesus Christ May that anointing take you to the nations. May that anointing take you to the nations. You will become voices in the area of sports. You will love Jesus and you will serve him. You will bring many to the fold in the name of Jesus Christ. And hear me. I want you to believe that what has come upon you tonight will truly change your life forever. Hallelujah. You believe this? This is more than just excelling in career. You are a footballer? Bring this small boy up for me. Look at this. Look at the little boy. Come. And he's small. What? Don't just bring these children. Don't waste our time, oh, please. I hope the children know what we are doing. 
if you're a parent here and we call a case make sure your child is aware of what we're doing please you're a footballer who brought this child who is a parent parents where are you you are his sister he's a footballer how old is he he's eight years what's his name huh Derek. what's that Derek? That's What's your that, name? Derek? You want to play football? You love Jesus? You too, you want to play football? Huh? Who brought these ones? They, do they want to play football? <laughs> Don't give your parents heart attack. Oh. Some of your parents are planning to have uh, doctors and engineers. That doesn't mean that football is not good. Who brought this child? Your, your son? You want, you're the father? Yeah, yeah. He wants to play football. Oh, you are the parents. Oh, you are aware that the children are here. That's just what I needed to verify. Listen, do you know when children love God and seek Him at this age, it is beyond holding the football boots. It's a miracle. I pray that God will bless you. I pray that God will bless you. And my footballer friend, may God take you high. You will play for the King in the name of Jesus. Every one of you will come back and testify here. In Jesus' name I pray. Return back to your seat rejoicing. God bless you. No shadow you will light up. Mountain you will climb up. Coming after me. No wall you will keep down. Praise the name of the Lord. Welcome to our miracle service for the month of July. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is already moving in the midst of his people. Who is Silas? Who is Silas? You're by the name Silas. This person, it looks from my vision, it's like you're not even inside this auditorium. Silas. Who is that? I just heard the name Silas. I want to speak over your life and then we'll be seated. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying for Silas, yet it's a lazy voice I'm hearing shouting under the anointing. It's strange how these spiritual things happen. I'm praying for these people, yet in the spirit, the sound I'm hearing is the voice of a lady shouting under the anointing in the name of jesus christ i pray for you silas by the power of the holy spirit the lord is giving you strange access strange access listen to what i'm saying god will give you access to people god will give you access to opportunities let the grace rest upon you right now we're going to pray it will be such an extraordinary move of the spirit in this place listen the most important role that you have to play tonight is to reach by faith there is a buffet the table of his majesty is prepared and set before you for all kinds of healing financial healing emotional healing spiritual healing restoration of fire honor dignity favor you are tired of the workings of darkness in your life in the next one minute i'd like you to pray from the depth of your heart and make up your mind say lord tonight is my night like the woman with the issue of blood you came as a family agree as a family you came as an individual agree as an individual you came as a business agree come on lift your voice and pray talk to the god of heaven
Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Hallelujah. There is such a mighty anointing of the Spirit here. Please listen. You are going to pray one prayer. Lord, in this miracle service, everything must work in my life. Must work in my life. Open your mouth and pray. Everything. Everything must produce results. Everything. Shalandegapata must produce results. Someone is praying. Everything. Everything. Everything must produce in my life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Everything that left heaven for my sake must land upon my destiny this night. Favor, increase, healing, restoration. Pray. Shebada kata brande gete bala katosh kati brande. Skate brande bara tosh koto brata kata. if I may but touch the hem of his garment this issue can come to an end I know if I can but touch the hem of his garment he can come to me as the wisdom of God he can come to me as the power of God Pray one more minute. You're not wasting your time. You're releasing your faith. God is still in the business of lifting. He's still in the business of making. He's still in the business of empowering. He's still in the business of signs and wonders. Hallelujah.
you're going to shout Jesus once and I want you to start bringing the people out please the power of God is ready to move we're going to do is going to be a quick walk let your faith be open let let your heart be open let your faith be alive Jesus is visiting his people I want to take time and really pray for the sick but then I need to minister right now very quickly as the Holy Spirit is leading me at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus please help the ushers there are several people the ushers are trained but no matter how many they can be limited so if someone is under the anointing close to you please do well to bring them out here that name that is above every other name listen as you shout that name there are certain people in this place that the doors that have been closed making things to not work in their life you have done the best you know to do and doors don't seem to be opening when a door opens all that is left is advancement you can walk through i'm about to pray for you right now the power of god is coming mightily upon you at the count of three one two three shout jesus in the name of jesus doors open doors open 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 that they go forward open bring them out we unlock the doors by prophecy we unlock the doors by prophecy we unlock the doors pray we unlock the doors please bring them out quickly we unlock the doors by the power that raised Christ from the dead doors many of you will be surprised what is happening to you I say it again doors by the key of David that can open a door that no man can shut and shut a door that no man can open every door that has been shut over your destiny shut over your life a father that door is open now that door is open now the door of advancement a father be open now be open now god is opening doors in the name of jesus that every door that stands before me that should be open i declare it open by the key of david that is able to open a door that no man can shut bring them up hallelujah now i want to pray the power of god is coming on many people and he said it's an anointing for restoration hear me when that anointing comes on your life you will be surprised that things that should have happened starts chasing you to look for you again for some of you by that anointing you will be surprised that relationships opportunities will return by the power of the holy spirit at the count of three may that restoration mantle wherever you are one two three shout jesus take that anointing take that anointing strength restoration in ministry restoration of your dignity restoration of honor restoration everything that used to walk that no longer walks i command that mantle to fall on you that grace for restoration and i will restore and i will restore and i will restore i'm still praying it again this anointing is coming on many people let there be restoration now son of man can these bones leave it says only thou knowest son of man can this family leave son of man can this ministry leave again son of man can this man of god leave again but i prophesy to you may that anointing come upon you now 
some of you were seated in the place of honor and something happened in your life and brought you down i command may that anointing take you back to that place may this restoration mantle let it take you back to your place of honor restore 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 we are still speaking restoration lord restore 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 hear me please look up for some of you when the devil attacked you and brought you down he put someone to occupy your place in the name of jesus we dislodge them now anyone sitting on your glory a paraketa sitting on your job sitting on your honor sitting on your sacrifice by prophecy i dislodge them now restore everything that i've lost restore in the name of jesus restore hallelujah i'm feeling fire in my left hand and i'm wondering what this is for there are many of you like physical fire you will begin to feel it on both of your hands is a strange anointing that god is placing on you right now as i'm speaking all over the congregation shabra digata is a, is a kind of anointing this thing is a ministerial grace is a gift of the spirit that god is granting you man of god prophet of god apostle pastor it's time to carry that grace there is an anointing upon your hands you will walk wonders with it bring them out that anointing is resting upon you i feel fire upon my hands for some of you is a healing anointing some of you is a breakthrough anointing let it come let it come let it come in the name of jesus let it come your hands will no longer be ordinary hands your hands will no longer be ordinary hands in the name of jesus hear me this fire is coming upon you it's a grace for multiplication it's not just a healing anointing alone i'm saying it again everyone here who cannot multiply what god gives you that anything he gives you remains at that level i release the grace for multiplication I release the grace for multiplication hallelujah now listen this next prayer is for everybody but please let me beseech you by the message of God you are going to be receiving while you look at your neighbor so that we manage the things that can happen here are we together now how many of you believe there is a grace for speed if you have never opened your heart to receive the grace for speed please i beseech you by the message of god here is your chance i'm going to pray you will be surprised people will start running that's why i said please help them i decree and declare father that fire that can energize a man a business a ministry and bring speed at the count of three some of you have been delayed in the name of jesus you are about to take that anointing now shout jesus at the count of three one two three speed 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 may that grace come upon you a 
I release speed. No more delay in destiny. No more delay. I don't care what altar has tied you down. I prophesy speed, speed. Every altar tying you down must release you now. Must release you now. Must release you now. Speed to your destiny. Man of God, experience speed in ministry. Career person, speed in career. Oh, 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 Hallelujah. Who is Rosemary? I'm hearing a name, Rosemary. Is there someone with that name? Your name is Rosemary. Where are you coming from, madam? Come. Rosemary. Jesus. Who is Japheth? I'm hearing a name Japheth. 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 I want to pray for you. Where are you from, madam? This woman. From Delta State. Delta State. I want to pray for you. You came alone? My husband and my daughter. Is your husband here? And my daughter. Come. The Lord is about to turn the life of this family. Please, if he's here, can you call him? Husband, please come. I want to pray for you. The Lord is going to... What do you do? I'm a banker. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. You are considering leaving the bank. Yes, sir. To where? My own company. I'm going to pray for you. You are in the will of God. I want to pray for you. I will not come and speak carelessly like this. Believe me. Because the Lord will elevate you. I, I, look at the little girl kneeling down to In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands upon you and I pray. I'm praying for you, but it's your wife. The anointing will come on. This is very strange. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you carry a grace, a mantle for favor. I release that grace upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ nothing dies in your hands all of you are rosemary i will pray for you two of you the power of god is coming on you now that's all right i will pray for everybody i'm seeing two of you right now fire is coming on two of you two of the rosemary's in front here in jesus name i lose that chain i lose that chain i'm seeing a chain i lose it now the name of jesus christ lose that chain now let them go let them go let them go by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let them go in the name of Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. Where are you coming from? I want to pray for you. I hope you are not embarrassed. Madam, I'm seeing you holding a basket that is supposed to look like a container. Anything poured in it goes down. What do you do? I want to pray for you. Huh? 
planning. You are what? I'm into event planning. You are into event planning. I don't know. I'm just saying that I'm seeing you holding a basket, intending to hold a container that everything that is poured there goes down. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands upon you. You came for a miracle service. May this grace rest upon you that will turn your life around and everything fighting you. I curse it right now in the name of Jesus. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. One of you in front here will start shouting loud under the anointing. I don't know why, but God just gave me that word. In front, just in front here. Hello, him, Madonai. let me talk to you this man the one at your back please come your life is about to change hallelujah Kai. god is showing me something that there is someone now please don't come out at random i'm watching in a vision i'm not even seeing the face of the person but I'm seeing like an event. You were rising like on a ladder. Everybody was seeing you and beginning to clap for you. And suddenly I saw what looked like an arrow. It hit what you were holding and you started going down. This person I'm talking about. I hope I'm right, but I think it's a hold on, hold on, hold on. The person I'm seeing in my vision, you are a Yoruba person. Who is who is Wale? 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 Is there somebody like that? Oh, this man. Please come and stand. I know the lion, I know the lamb, I know the lion, I know the lamb, I believe in the lion. I will follow the lion. What do you do, sir? I'm an IT consultant. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a plane leave here and going to UK and coming back and going to UK again and coming back and going to UK again, coming back. Do you have an office there? I'd like you to prepare. This is the next season of what God is doing. Look at me, sir. You are a good man, but it's surprising you how you have not even risen to the level that your expertise should have taken you to. I want to pray for you. You see, but let me tell you some things. Skill is very important, but until your gift is anointed, it will still not bless you. Being gifted and being anointed are not the same. Your gift must be anointed to find visibility. Wale. Let them come. Sir, can I pray for you? Please lift your hand, this man. Father, you have given us the grace to lift and to bless. I stretch my hands upon you. By reason of this anointing, I decree and declare, find favor. Find favor in the name of Jesus. And everything that fights you, I curse it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you, my dear brothers here. Wale, the Lord gave me that word. In the name of Jesus, there's one or two of you here. There is a, a terrible demonic attack. This is like a conspiracy over what you do. In Jesus' name, I stretch my hands. 
and I pray for you right now by the power this is what I'm hearing in my spirit having the readiness to judge every disobedience if your obedience is complete there are some of you that may need to go back and just make things right and get things right but I pray for you mercy is my first prayer and then in the name of Jesus by this anointing let there be restoration restoration the power of God is coming on one of you although you came out to receive I don't know what for but there is a call of God upon your life and God has been working on you in the name of Jesus I declare may that grace this grace is not for manifestation is a grace for the secret place in Jesus name I stretch my hands may that grace come upon you God will make you God will build you until you become a mighty battle axe in his hands in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ every one of you who has stood here in the name of Jesus go back and experience restoration in Jesus name I pray amen God bless you thank you who is Victoria you can imagine that there are you see when I call names like this it's not this is not guessing you can imagine that there are many people who are named like that but I just call as God ministers to me and then also to save time I'm going to pray for you this man is this your wife come What do you do, sir? I'm a lecturer. You're a lecturer. Where? In Covenant University. I want to pray for you. Hmm. The favor of God is real. Oh. When the favor of God rests upon a man, because I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you travel out of this nation, and it has to do with your work, something you are doing. I'm seeing that God is lifting you and you'll be there for a while and that you will you will connect to strange lifters and help us in the name of Jesus Christ I stand in partnership with the grace upon our father and the Lord Bishop David Oedipo and I agree with you as a lecturer in Covenant University by the power that raised Christ from the dead sir you and your wife something is coming upon your wife it is a grace she is going to start having prophetic encounters your wife she will start having dreams and start seeing things and they will happen the way she saw it i declare madam may that grace rest upon you this is victoria okay i'm going to pray for you so sir, in the name of jesus i bless you i pray that whatever whether it is a, a a program or a project abroad you are doing in jesus name may the grace of god go with you and you will go and return a sign and a wonder in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you sir victoria i'm going to pray don't feel i'm not insulting you where eh? but i'm looking at you and i'm seeing manifestations of both human beings and snakes i'm not saying you are please don't miss don't worry i'm going to pray for you because i'm seeing a spirit this thing is it has attracted bad and wicked people to your life i want to pray for you i know you are a lot here right now i command that spirit there are two of you or three of you in fact let them go now 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 in the name of jesus christ this spirit that attracts wicked people wrong people in destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead be delivered now I set you free do you know let me tell you the truth what is on you is what attracts what come around you are we together now in the name of Jesus I'm praying again every negative placement upon your head that keeps drawing negative things trouble to your life i declare be free now be free now be free now please lift your hands everybody god bless you you can return back to your seat everyone
a mighty deliverance is going to happen here now before we pray for the sick what is deliverance a separation between you and a spirit or you and a limitation it is not always about spirit a separation between you and conditions that are unfavorable at the count of three the power and fire of God is going to fall here right now and I want you to bring those people out father anyone here and any family any individual who is under the influence of negative spirits making Zion to be called an outcast in the name that is above all names and by the blood of the eternal covenant every legal ground that Satan has over any individual or any family by the blood of the eternal covenant as you shout the name Jesus I declare that your liberty comes are you ready now one two three shout Jesus I command altars I command yokes be broken now be broken now my God every altar tying down your destiny bring them out I curse it now I curse it now causes yokes of ancestry yokes connected to bloodline yokes release them now release them now release them now open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray I declare my liberty from every planting and every influence bring them out please every planting that is not of God over my life pray every fraternity with any spirit that is not of the Christ I announce and I declare my liberty let them go now I rebuke that spirit release them now release them now hallelujah now please look at me I'm still ministering deliverance negative patterns and negative cycles it comes and then it comes again it comes and then it comes again I'm seeing at least 25 people father I don't know where they are these spirits that cause repetition of negative patterns at the count of three shout Jesus and your deliverance comes one my God two three shout Jesus be free be free be free negative patterns tying your family tying individuals bringing them to states where they recycle pain where they recycle shame where they recycle negative conditions be free hallelujah I'm seeing the anointing of the Holy Spirit go to the worship team and the Lord is telling me I have answered your prayer I don't know who that is I have answered your prayer this is what God is saying I have answered your prayer may that anointing rest upon that person it is between you and God you know what you have been asking him for but the Lord is saying I have answered your prayer and what he says to one he says to all let me prophesy over someone who has been praying over a long-standing issue in the name of Jesus what he has done for a brother or sister there may it be extended to you right now the power of witchcraft negative dreams negative experiences in the name of Jesus repetitive experiences negative experiences I command those spirits now let them go let God's people go release them now please stretch your hands towards me you are about to receive in the realm of the spirit and it will manifest between now
for some of you even this night that is outside of you will see people come to testify here i'm saying it to you because i'm i'm just it just distracted me in this vision i'm looking at what looks like a box and then i'm seeing it being given to people that's why i said stretch my hands in the name of jesus i stretch my hands back at you prophetically receive that which god has for you for some of you it's a job receive it hallelujah there is someone here you have been trying to buy a house the house you are negotiating the person to sell it for you the price you have been trusting that they bring it down this is one of your major concerns please hear me you will come and stand here and testify because something will happen this night in the name of jesus christ i pray for all of you who are who came out here in front every foul spirit that has oppressed you in the name of jesus be released now never to return in jesus name i pray amen and amen let's pray for the sick now the lord is bringing healing for the last two weeks i've been hearing a name in fact it made me read it because you know i just said is it for me or whatever it is i've not really known so much about it cholesterol that word high cholesterol and i had to go and sit down and i've heard about it passively you know but i had to go and study it and i kept hearing it even up until this afternoon as i prayed is one of the areas of healing God wants to bring for people. I had to study it to know what, what does it mean to say someone has high cholesterol. Because some of those things are death sentences. I'm not a medical doctor, but doctors here will tell you. Let's start with that. And then every other area of sickness. Please, if you are standing in for someone, now is your chance. Whether you are standing in the hospital i know there are people in so many hospitals right now with patients following i want you to connect i'm about to pray for the sick i believe in the healing power of jesus but particularly i don't know those who have suffered from this high cholesterol issue probably you've gone to the hospital and they've told you or maybe the the symptoms have been around the lord began to speak this into my ears and as we pray i want you to believe you came with a sick person now is your time to receive and remember like i taught us here it is not only bodily infirmity for some of you you've lost a loved one you are trusting god to heal some negative experience in your life that has tied you down and you cannot move forward you had an accident and right now you can't move forward you are afraid of buying a car you are afraid of moving you lost a child you had a miscarriage and you are afraid of starting again again is a very powerful word again means in spite of again place your hand right now and let's pray everyone who is trusting God for a miracle if you're standing in for your loved one any part of your body at all now is your chance as we worship in your presence there is healing the holy spirit's gentle touch is flowing jesus i believe hallelujah i know i'm ministering healing but there is someone here they stole from you it's like something happened thieves or somebody stole from you a business you are doing and since that time you have not moved forward again where is the person come i'm praying for the sick now please make sure you understand what i'm saying We're still praying for the sick. Don't be distracted. 
they stole from you i know that most people may be coming out but this person i'm talking about they stole something significant from you and your life just went down like that there are at least seven people right now as i'm seeing in my vision while I'm, this, I'm waiting for the other people to come but there are at least seven people the power of God is coming upon them you, the, the fear you have is not just the regular fear for the unknown this is the spirit of fear right now I command that spirit by the power that raised Christ from the dead and in the name of Jesus Christ be delivered from fear now I cast that spirit out of your life I don't male female it has stopped you from taking daring steps you are afraid of everything you know it's an unusual fear be delivered from the spirit of fear now let me pray for those who are here in front very quickly madam what do you do Huh? I was a teacher, I retired. Uh, uh, a minister oh. of God also, but my I don't know how I explain it in the congregation. Mm, it's all right, madam. I understand. I'm going to pray for you. Listen, please look at me. God is able to restore time, and God is able to restore things. He can restore the years, but he can also restore things. I don't know what it is that was stolen from you we are praying for the sick but I want to pray for you some of you have cried some of you is money some of you is opportunity all kinds of things but I want to pray for you you came for miracle service I'm seeing a mystery the right hand of many of you shaking supernaturally by the Spirit of God I don't know why I'm sensing even that fire on my own hands Lord Jesus restore 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 it doesn't matter who did what I'm placing an anointing upon you restore help mama restore in the name of Jesus everything that has been stolen that brought you down and from that time you've not been able to move forward I prophesy to you go forward now go forward now go forward now go forward now the door is open before you go forward now hear me help this man when it is time to pray for destiny help us please make sure you open up your spirit because all blessings come from God but they come through men to you hallelujah I decree and declare any virtue that was taken from you spiritually negative soul ties demonic things that have tied you down so you cannot move forward I break it now I break it now I break it now be delivered now wasters of destiny stealers of glory I command a restoration now and a separation from these spirits go and excel for some of you it will not be up to one month God will restore you back in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you. Please return to your seat. We are praying for the sick. Shamala suprahas kadila kabarienda bosi. Kada balanda gaskede balati. Lay your hands. Please help, Mama. Just, just help her. If you are standing in for someone, whether you are inside or outside, following across the globe, I'm about to pray for the sick right now. Believe in miracles. Jesus heals. He truly truly heals miracles are real they are not uh, stage managed no lay your hands and let me pray for you father
in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God now here's what will happen please look at me just a quick instruction it is important to testify of the wonder working power of God tonight we are not only going to allow those who have been healed to come everybody who has been imparted by this you've been delivered a change has happened in your life supernaturally something miraculous has happened right now now listen to me many of you will be very surprised to see what has happened in your life and you have your evidence here let me pray for the sick and then i am going to give you two or three minutes we we'll only take a limited number of people but as many who have been touched i know that everybody has been touched but any striking notable miracle including that which is about to happen i want you to come and stand in front here or here will give you an opportunity to testify and then please listen many of you miss the remaining part of this service impartation and prophetic decrees are a major part of the miracle service you hear people come and testify not everybody is sick God may not call everybody's name and then we are constrained by time when you want to have extended meetings like this it will take a long time to be able to minister but everybody should receive in the presence of God and so please if you are coming out make sure that there is no delay I'm going to be praying for the sick but even if right now you know that the power of God has taught you you've been delivered it is still all right for you to start coming out so that we'll save time but I want to pray for the sick remember what I told you about the woman with the issue of blood you reach out by faith you receive and then you check yourself doing what you couldn't do the moment you find out that there's a miracle I want you to run and come very quickly father in the name of Jesus the spirit that is back of any and all infirmities health conditions emotional conditions spiritual conditions that are manifesting as illnesses in the name of jesus christ i declare be healed now be healed now blood conditions be healed now high blood pressure go down now and by the way if you need to quickly go and check yourself we have a medical stand there very trained professional doctors lab technicians and all of that so you can do well and someone if you need to check yourself say a miracle has happened and you want to verify you do that we make sure that we only announce miracles that are verified because we're ministering to the entire globe are we together right now in the name of Jesus Christ I conditions be healed now ear conditions be healed in the name of Jesus anyone who could not walk I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit begin to walk now you could not stand begin to stand now you could not move any part of your body begin to move it now in the name of Jesus every lump every growth in any part of your body I decree and declare that it disappears now by the power of the Holy Spirit any terminal illness whether here or across the hospitals connecting in the name of Jesus I bring you life and healing in the name of Jesus Christ blood conditions be healed now there's a woman I'm seeing in a vision you have pains all over your body you can't tell exactly what it is but your joint pain you know how someone who is a sickler sickle cell anemia you know when they have this crisis that's how you feel perpetually it's like your body is hot there's just pain from head to toe the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing someone you had a dream and in that dream you saw that there was something wrong with the left part of your breast and you are already being you are already afraid because you've been sensing pains and a spirit has been ministering to you that most likely this is cancer by the power that raised Christ from the dead be healed right now be healed right now the Lord is showing me an interesting case there's someone your 
it's like your feet i don't know if it is rotting at the edges don't feel embarrassed i don't know if it's like something sort of like a fungal infection affecting your toes and this is something that is terrible and embarrassing you are even tired of it you've tried to treat it and it's not going in the name of jesus i declare be healed now joint pains pains around your joints in the name of jesus be healed lumbar spondylosis in the name of jesus be healed be healed there's someone you went to the hospital and they told you something is wrong with your brain i don't know if it's cancer or a tumor or something literally in your brain i'm declaring to you right now by the power that raised christ from the dead you shall not die you shall not die you shall not die hallelujah the lord is showing me a vision i'm seeing a woman you are following from the united kingdom you are with your five-year-old son in front of you and I, I don't know if it's autism or something that makes him hyperactive you are standing for a miracle for him in the name of jesus christ right from here in nigeria i decree and declare may the power of god touch that person i pray for all those who are connecting trusting god for healing across the nations of the earth in the name of jesus be healed right now now whether i mention your name or not right now i want you to check yourself and do what you couldn't do i declare healing if it's your arm move it right now if it's your neck move it your head if you need to go to the medical stand to check yourself the moment you find out that the power of god has taught you along those alongside those who either fell on the anoint on under the anointing or had some kind of breakthrough the moment you have a testimony please you can begin to come out right now check yourself very quickly let's celebrate them as they come don't be ashamed don't be afraid while that is happening while that is happening if you are yet to submit your prayer request wave it wave it let the usher see concurrent okay please wave it ushers make sure that you quickly collect the request just be patient wave it and an usher will be here and if you want to quickly write please just write very quickly those who have been healed those who have received miracles please don't distract them whether from the overflow outside the basement make your way very quickly and come in now make your way very quickly let's celebrate them as they come make your way very quickly and come make your way very quickly check yourself and those who are following from hospitals the power of god has touched you you fell under the anointing you were delivered something supernatural and miraculous happened to you i want you very quickly you can send in your testimonies our media team pr team are here to receive you in the name of jesus those who are coming from outside please allow them very quickly let's have a few testimonies in the name of jesus christ there is a woman i'm seeing um your lower the lower part of your abdomen i want you to check it there was something like a a swelling there and right now it's gone you can you can check it and come and testify to the goodness of god very quickly if you are coming out please come quickly so that we move to the next the next section hallelujah yes please are we ready let me just know if we have a few testimonies hallelujah praise the lord yes sir awesome. thank you sir so uh we have a few testimonies coming in um so this is brother what's your name sir? my name is victory just a moment sir there is a gentleman outside you cannot walk very well with your left leg I don't know if you are using a crutch or you are just feeling discomfort but i want you to check it now i just saw the power of god touching you outside there is a mighty miracle for you in the name of jesus christ yes sir all right sir. so for three days he's been actually having a restriction in his chest okay yeah for like three days now my chest has been paining me each time i try to breathe i cannot take a deep breath so after the um offerings and um testimonies the moment the man of god took the mic as i just heard his voice i became better like i can breathe properly right now breathe in and out in and out in the name of jesus it never returns to you Amen. by the power of the holy spirit yes please all right so the next testimony is, please come down is there someone with the name affiniki 
I just heard that name, Afiniki. There is a miracle that the Lord is bringing for that person. Yes, sir. Please go ahead. All right, sir. So, Apostle, she had an accident. You had an accident? Yes. And for the past three years. I had an accident, and after the accident, I had a dislocated wrist. So, for three years. So, I, it was treated, but I had some restrictions with the hand, and the pain was severe if I tried to move it more. All but right. Immediately, you were preaching, even before the prayer started. I just had the relief. Check yourself. I just Any pain? Are you celebrating Jesus? Okay, I told you that health in one word is liberty in jesus name it never returns amen. by the power of the holy spirit amen, amen and amen yes sir Afiniki, can i pray for you there is a miracle that god is bringing first in your body and then your life your family in the name of jesus i stretch my hands and i pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead let there be a supernatural testimony for you everything that has held you down I'm seeing you crying in the name of Jesus weep not for the lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed I bring you life and healing you will come and stand before God's people and testify God is turning everything around in Jesus name I pray yes sir so apostle we have a very interesting testimony here yes sir so for the past 10 years 10 years 10 years he's actually been having a strange itching a strange itch okay straight to the point okay it has been a long time ago i uh, i can't remember exactly but 2010 2011 so it was one afternoon i start feeling fever anytime i start feeling sick i have short of blood so they will not take me to bro they say medicine called reference 12. if they give me the medicine i will come back to normal strength and it will not take time, like within a year, I will still have short of blood again. Yes. So later on, the crashing started. It will crash me, but it will stop. It will crash me and it will stop. So once what happened time, now? So when I came here, I, I have saw you in my dream healing me three times. But when I come to Kononia, I feel somehow because it nothing come. I see people falling on the nothing. I say, God, why me? Where do you so, feel? Where do you feel the itch? Your hands or all over yeah, your I body? Yeah, I see the inch. And now that it comes, it's all over my body. It happened for the first time all over my body. It started happening in particular places. So now it's happened all over my body this month. So I saw you healing me in my dream three mm. times before. What happened to you now? So when I came to the service, I have to fall under nothing three times the same way I saw you in my dream healing me. And right and now, everything left. it's gone. Oh, yes, sir. Let's give Jesus praise. It will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Chronic pain in the chest as a result of ulcer. Ulcer. Yes. And right power now, God came upon him and his whole down. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, you please. You gave word of knowledge about a woman with pain all over her body. Yes. She has had it for the past four years, so difficulty in standing. But now... How she... long, madam? Conservatively, over four years. Over four years. So... As I came for this uh, miracle service, I just told myself, I said, I, I really want to be part of it, and I like to stand and do my worship. But I just noticed I've been standing since I came. And, uh, and the pain is not there. Uh, then when you were ministering, you know, the word came that uh, joint pain and spondylosis, and these were the uh, specific words the doctors used. Used for you. And right pain. now, Check yourself. Any pain. Let's celebrate Jesus. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Are we ready? Difficulty in breathing as a result of pneumonia, but now he can breathe in and out. Comfort pneumonia. Yes, sir. In Three the years. name of Jesus, we rebuke pneumonia. It leaves you never to return again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Quickly, who is ready? Yes, sir. All right, sir. So, sir, we, you gave a word of knowledge concerning the, the lumbar wow. and pain. So yes. I've had it since 2016. Yes, I had sir. a diagnosis done in 2018. The exact words, lumbar spondylosis. So right now I can bend, I can move around. Bend, bend now. Any pain? Any pain? Koinonia, are you celebrating Jesus? In the name of Jesus, it will never return again by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. So, Apostle, these amazing women, 
um, you gave a word of knowledge concerning people that had dreams. Yes, you know, sir. With, um, whether a lump or a pain in yes. the chest, yes. in the breast. So three of them. All three of them. Praise the Lord. I, I had a dream. I have a lump in that dream and it burst out. It was smelly. I woke up. Not too long, I started developing lump. Like four years now, I went to the hospital last week, um, last two a week ago. They said they will remove the whole breast. I said no. I ran to God. And this is my first miracle service. When daddy was reading the, the book of um, Jeremiah, yes. God gave me that same scripture. I was abandoned from the Muslim house. They, don't, they thought that nothing we write on my back. It, all the word was for me today, and I strongly believe I will not live here with this lump. And when daddy was declaring, I, had, I, I was imagining thunder flowing in my breast. Later, I had a broom, and it affected my back and my neck as if they lose rope from the lump. I believe God has touched me. Place your hand on your chest, my dear. In the name of Jesus. I release you now by the power of the Holy Spirit it will never return again I declare that they will not have to do anything over your body a miracle has happened to you and it remains so in the name of Jesus Christ yes please um, just last night I, I slept and dreamed that my mother had breast cancer and she was so sick and she was dying and it was like it was me it was her and within the week I've had a, a lump in my armpits but I thought it was a boil and I took drugs for it. So while you were praying and you said that, I just laid my hand on my chest and the power of God fell on me. It will never return to you again in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Yes, please. God bless you. Sometimes last week I had um, a sharp pain on my left breast. Then I now dreamt later that it, now, it was now cancerous. That my, my two breasts were now cancerous. So I woke up and I started praying. Then you gave the word of knowledge and the pain is actually gone. Let me pray for everyone here. The spirit of cancer, whether for you or for your loved ones, I release my faith with you. Don't say it comes with old age. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that thing will never find expression in your body. And hear me. If, if we have people here, I know from a medical standpoint, they say there are people who have a history or it's, you know, it's, it's like it's hereditary in the name of Jesus whether cancer or any spirit that is transferred by blood that it happens to everybody in the family in the name of Jesus because you are here tonight I break that cycle finally and any negative dream you have had as to anything that relates to sickness in your body it remains a dream it remains a dream it will never find expression in your life in jesus name i pray yes sir okay so that's that's it for her okay let me take go ahead apostle mama has had diabetes for the past three years three years uh, yes now one of the symptoms is that she cannot see from afar but now i asked her she said she can see you and then they have gone to check for the medical stand she sound now hallelujah are you celebrating jesus how long was this man three years please. three years in the name of jesus it will never return to you again by the power of the holy spirit you are completely delivered yes please pain in the heart abdomen for the past two weeks she has had difficulty in urinating but she said she was just coming from the convenience now and she's okay she was able to urinate every demonic thing i curse it right now in the name of jesus i told you health in one word is liberty i declare be free completely in jesus name yes please she had accident two weeks ago you made mention of someone she who had accident fold, what is in the photo down. that's the yes. accident yes now she can fold her fingers now what could she you couldn't do? do that let, let her talk i cannot fold my hand i was going to walk i'm a police officer i fall in a bike I just saw myself on the ground, my waist, if I pull up my body now, people will run. And I just feel my hand, I cannot move my hand. I didn't discuss it with anybody. I've been praying with my father, my brother, I'm Nantel from Lanta. I've oh been my praying God. with in NSPPT. I said, this is not my portion. My oh father my will deliver me anywhere I'm coming from. And right now, and what I happened to you? Check yourself. My oh my I God. Are you celebrating Jesus? Lift your hands. 
I stretch my hands over you and in the name of Jesus oppression will not arise the second time and for any part of your body that has been injured you saw the scripture God will heal you from your wounds I declare let there be healing right now in Jesus name I pray you gave a word of knowledge yes. of disappearance of Lom. She has gone to check. Lom disappeared. Lom. Lom gone. How long? Two weeks. For the past two weeks, I've been free. In the name of Jesus, you are free right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Another one. Growth in the abdomen. She has gone to check. Disappeared too. Growth in the yes. abdomen. Yes. For how long, my dear? Like three years. Three years. You are sure you've checked it? Yes. In the name you've of Jesus, it, it will never return to you again. Yes, sir. So, sir, she came in here. She's had pains. Ten years toilet infection. Ten years. Ten years toilet infection. No, that is a demonic <laughs> issue. You now see the difference between a medical condition and a spirit. A medical condition will easily respond to drugs because the leaves are for the healing of the nations. The moment it unnecessarily defies the attendance of medicine, then a spirit has come to be part of it. Not every discomfort is necessarily the presence of a spirit. It is the, sometimes it can be the normal wear and tear of just having a human body. But when that is so, food, vitamins, and some medical attention should easily attend to it. The moment you see that your headache does not respond to good food, good rest, Panadol is a spirit. A spirit has come behind that headache. So you don't just use Panadol, you cast it out. Are we together now? Ten years infection. Yes. Don't cry, my dear. Mm, straight to the point, huh? Okay. In the name of Jesus, the Lord has seen you. He has seen your heart. In the name of Jesus, your testimony remains permanent. In Jesus' name, she's overwhelmed. God bless you. Hallelujah. Apostle, she had a, a growth here and it dissolved. Completely. How long? Um, I had it June last year. He first disappeared in December, then he came back. But now it's gone completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. So again, for her, sir, she had a strange growth here. Yes, my head. There's something moving as if it's stone. As loud as you can, my dear. Something is moving in my head like stone, as if I would mad, I would get mad. And as you pray, I just fell under the anointing and the thing left. Where are you coming from? From Benway State. Everything that is not of God and any human agent in partnership with demon spirits, in the name of Jesus, what happened to her man? What happened to Gehazi? It will happen to them. Anybody who has vowed to walk in partnership with Satan that you will not find rest in the name of Jesus I pray may the fire of judgment from heaven it must land upon them You are set free my dear free from every demonic thing Ah, Hold on. No, I'm not done with this lady lift your hands. Look at me. I just saw something looking like a snake in the name of Jesus Release this lady now by the power that raised Christ from the dead my dear, I declare total deliverance for you. I cut you away from anything associated with demons or causes in your family. You are free now and free forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Next person, please. Okay, sir. All of them, they've all had pains, pains in their head. Pains, several pains. My, mine is um, this, I have chest pain. Yes. For the past four years now, based on the, the work I normally do. So. And you've been healed right now. Yes. In the name of Jesus, you and all those who have suffered all and various kinds of pains, I bring you life and I bring you healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. For the sake of time, um, do we have any, any other striking testimony? Let's just have one. Yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. Praise the Lord. <laughs> My leg has been itching me for the past, since 2018. Your leg? Underneath my feet has been itching me. So when you prayed for fungal, I still, when, if I apply pressure to my leg, I'll feel the itchy. So I kept on praying. And then I even had to remove my bag to use the pin to choke the leg. Because whenever I do that, it itches. The pain sees. At the escalator, I, I itched my leg. You oh, went it's now and it's gone. It's gone. Celebrate Jesus. It's gone. It will never return to you again, my dear. Amen. You are free and completely free. Let's take one or two here and then we'll get straight to 
the request. From the PR line, you gave a word of knowledge of somebody streaming in the UK. A boy who is five years old, he couldn't hear. But when you gave that one word of knowledge, they said he hear pop open and he can hear now. All the way from they the United Kingdom. The PR line. Hallelujah. Are you giving Jesus praise? Listen, our global family, it's important for you to understand, like I said earlier on, that time and distance is not an advantage in the realm of the spirit. It's only an advantage in this realm. Your miracle is at the instance of your faith. Once your faith can connect to the power of God, then the limits have been taken away. So I'm praying specially for those who are following from across the globe. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let there be all kinds of miracles, all kinds of breakthroughs, all kinds of restorations for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, please. Movement in the body for the past seven years. For the past seven years. Yes. With pain. Now she gave the word and the power of God came upon her. She fell and the pain is no more there. How long? Seven years. More than even seven years. Where are you coming from? Uganda. Okay. What happened to you? So you, you, I was standing there and I'm feeling the normal pain. Pain moving all over my body. So you said somebody has pain, like... Um, yes. So I just fell under the anointing, and when I got up, I couldn't feel it. Completely. Yes. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. I sent a movement to you for the past two weeks. For the past two weeks? Yeah. I had like, a, I could feel like a heaviness in my stomach. Okay. And it's gone stomach. now. Yes. In the name of Jesus, it will never return by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. So, Apostle, we need to hear this. Please. We need to hear this and also see something very interesting. So, first, let's hear the first testimony yes. from Jenny. All right. Daddy, you mentioned, you mentioned while you were speaking that people will get healed of breast lung. Someone from Switzerland was healed of two years of breast lung. Breast lung Are you celebrating Jesus? Two years healed completely. We also have somebody from Ghana with an abdominal growth disappeared. We also have another person from Ghana, back pain of six months, healed. Completely. We also, we also have another one from Ghana, healed from leg pain. Praise Our God. Ghana family seems like they are really opening up to connect by faith. In the name of Jesus Christ, your healing remains permanent. Yes, sir. Then, Apostle, we need to hear this one. Go ahead. You know, you know he's, he's saying, what he's saying is found in Acts chapter 8 from verse 5 and 6. Acts chapter 8 from verse 5 and 6. Our time is gone, but what it says is that Peter, I mean Philip went down to Samaria and preached Christ. And the Bible says the people with one accord, they gave heed to the things which he spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. You both hear and see if it is the power of God. Yes, sir. And you gave a word of knowledge about someone's left toe. That's my elder brother. Someone's left toe? Yes. His oh, legs, dear. His legs before. And I killed him for him. I called him immediately and he told me that after he finished speaking with my younger brother, he received my call that he Look at that. Can you see that? Look at that. Yes. That was before. And immediately I called him. He sent me a picture right now that a leg has dropped. Look at it right now. I will worship him forever, love him forever because I will worship him forever, love him forever because this God is true. In the name of Jesus. That miracle remains permanent. That's an extraordinary miracle. We give Jesus praise. It will never return again in Jesus' name. Let's have this as a last one very quickly. She's a medical doctor, so she wants to. Okay. Um, She's a medical doctor? Okay, go ahead. For intermittently over the years, I found that I have this tightness around my head. And so I've been having forgetfulness. It's easy to cover up at work and people don't know. I would wake up and... There's as if there's a band holding my head very tightly. Mm. When we started praying, I just started feeling as if it was getting loose, getting released. Then finally, when you pray just now, um, before I came out, in fact, that was a problem that needs to come out, that um, you prayed against everything about cancer. 
it's as if something just left my head and hit the ground. Before I would feel a heaviness in my head if I shake my head. But now if I shake it, I can't even feel anything. My head Give Jesus praise. In the name of Jesus, you are perfected, healed forever. And every other miracle, whether announced or not, in Jesus' name, we declare that it remains permanent. Please rise up on your feet and stretch your hands here. I'd like you to begin to declare by faith, like the woman with the issue of blood, in the name of Jesus, this is my moment. Can you stretch your hands and pray if you believe in the God that answers prayers? The Bible says, unto him that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Go ahead and pray. As I bow my knees to pray, you just believe by faith. I'm praying now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Declare. I would always say that this is the most accurate representation of your desires. The Bible says, what things soever ye desire. It says, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it. Someone is praying. Lord, this oppression will never return again. Turn my story change my life give me a testimony if someone praying connect me to strategic helpers go ahead in the next two minutes let the mighty god arise even over the issue of concern give you a testimony in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ now i'm going to pray and speak over this i just sensed again in my heart to just call our father up and to just make one fatherly declaration we are made by the food we eat and the words we receive said Jesus Jesus said man shall not live by bread alone but that he can live he should live by food and words hallelujah father in the name of Jesus I decree and declare over these requests I declare that the God of heaven will arise on your case the God of heaven will arise on your case in the name of Jesus finally your laughter arrives I say it again finally your laughter arrives everything that represents sadness here in the name of Jesus we drive it like smoke before the wind finally your laughter arrives finally your breakthrough arrives in the name of Jesus Christ for many of you the deliverer has a reason for you and what you will be counting are testimonies after testimonies after tonight in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak over your life in Jesus name that these Egyptians you see today you will see no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ please let's receive That is the first thing we should receive from his life. That this is 84 years and standing. Koinonia, raise your voice and say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For the word of God says, 
what things soever you desire. What things soever. What things soever. I'm looking at what things soever here. So, over these prayer requests, I decree and declare under the anointing of this house, the man of God in this house, I decree and declare your requests are answered. The louder amen you shout, the more it will happen for you. And so, the month of June has opened to you before June. Let's celebrate him. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Why do we speak over people? Listen. Why do we speak over people once and again? I learned this from our fathers of faith, especially in this nation. You see it in the life of our father in the Lord. Daddy Gio. You see it in the life of our father in the Lord, Bishop David Oedipo. And every father of faith. Those words you see that they speak over people have turned ordinary people into signs and wonders. We are made, you see, let me tell you, the word is like a tray. It does not just come empty. If you ask me to bring water, I will usually put it on a tray. The moment you see the tray coming, you begin to rejoice because no responsible person sends an empty tray to you. A tray is always carrying something. That tray is the word spoken through the lips of faith that when it comes it carries supernatural virtues that if you receive by faith your life will change in a way that will surprise you i'm about to speak over your life this is a major part of the miracle service we are made by the words we receive in the name of jesus let me start from where our father stopped even before june i prophesied june open up for god's people June, open up for God's people. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, everything your eyes have seen, but your hand is yet to handle. Let this be the season where your hand will take possession. Let this be the season where your hand will take possession. In the name of Jesus. There is a relationship between laughter and victory. No man steps into the realm of victory and then does not laugh. I decree and declare. Another word for saying you are walking in victory is to say this season is your season of laughter. Laughter in the morning. Laughter in the afternoon, laughter in the night, everything that makes for shame and sadness by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let it be far from your life. Mary said, how shall these things be, seeing that I know not a man? How shall I have this business, seeing that I know not any destiny helper? How shall I excel in Abuja, in Lagos, in Jos, in Maiduguri, in Europe, in US, in Asia, seeing that I don't have anyone? My prayer for you is the reply of Angel Gabriel. The power of the highest shall overshadow you. The power of the highest shall overshadow you. The power of the highest shall overshadow you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, the moment the power of the highest overshadowed Mary, it was possible to give birth. Every time the power of the highest overshadows you, you will always give birth to something, a vision, a dream, a new experience. Therefore, I decree and declare that which must be born from you in this season, give birth safely.
Do you believe in the grace for favor? Hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will keep speaking over your life till the favor of God becomes a signature grace upon your life. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ, favor with God and favor with men. Receive it. Favor with God and favor with men. Receive it. Favor with God and favor with men. Receive it. Every destiny helper anointed by God in this season to locate you and to hold your hands as you rise whether in the area of career whether in the place of raising your children whether in your home and your marriage whether in your spiritual life everything delaying that destiny helper I cause that spirit to give way now and then I prophetically release the helpers of your destiny to your life may they locate you may they bless you may they lift you in the name of jesus christ hear me the spirit that makes you labor for things and when it's time to enjoy them it is taken away from you i decree and declare every good thing you start with your hand you will see the end of it with your eyes In the mighty name of Jesus. Let me pray for your health. The spirit that is roaming across Nigeria and Africa, bringing mysterious sicknesses upon people. You will see healthy looking people, but in two, three days, something just brings them down. I stand in partnership with the grace upon our father. If at 84, he's still jumping like a young man, then in the name of Jesus, we who are his children, we stand here by faith. And I decree and declare, enjoy health. Enjoy health. Enjoy health. Enjoy health. Enjoy health. Physical health. Mental health. Financial health. Where you have been called rejected. Where you have been called an outcast, O Zion. I decree and declare by the power help him in the name that is above all names this is the season where men will look for you in the morning they will look for you in the afternoon they will look for you in the night they will look for you and they will not come empty they will come with their treasures like the magi they will come with gold they will come with frankincense they will come with man to honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrow that flies by day. Every arrow roaming across from altars to destinies. I declare minus you. I say it again minus you. Minus your family. Minus your business. Minus your destiny. Minus your health no power will cut short your life before your time in the name of jesus christ finally i pray for you there is a grace that rests upon a man that can cause that man to be passionate about the things of god when that grace rests upon you you will not struggle to pray you will not struggle to study you will not struggle to have time with god I don't know where you have been struggling in your spiritual life but I stretch my hands as one who has been shown mercy by God I decree and declare fresh fire upon your prayer altar the discipline to wake up and pray receive it the discipline to pray through till you break through receive it the grace to pray with answers receive it number two I pray for your word study life every lukewarmness and spiritual laziness in the name of Jesus I cast it from your life receive the grace to be passionate for the word number three anything fighting your zeal for the house of God I bring it under arrest right now in the name of Jesus finally I pray for you any association 
and any human vessel programmed by the devil to loiter around your life and stop you from entering your glorious destiny in the name of Jesus prophetically from this altar I bring a separation now groups associations people I break you free from them may the grace for honor rest upon you go and shine go and excel I say it again go and shine go and excel hear me let Nigeria open for you let Europe open for you let America open for you let Abuja open for you let the six show political zones open for you everywhere you need to be to serve the purposes of God I declare the grace for visibility that will take you there may that grace rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ wave your hands to Jesus and thank him for tonight like the woman with the issue of blood you're waving your hands in thanksgiving Lord I will surely return with my testimony I am in a season where you are visiting me giving me mighty and marvelous encounters hallelujah hallelujah before we wrap up I know our time is spent but I want you to pray in one minute even though I've spoken over your life father June is the sixth month I decree and declare we are stepping into half of the year from January to May anything you said should come into my life and it's not yet there I release my faith in the name of Jesus I'm entering into the season of those supplies those spiritual supplies go ahead and pray pray in one minute January February March April May the month of June will be a month where you will give me rest roundabout rest roundabout in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please I want you to bring the following people out now I'm seeing I just saw light from all the in the main auditorium and all of the overflows and the Lord is telling me there is something that is coming upon them help them bring them out Strings, play the guitar for me. There are still more people you are bringing out. I'm seeing a book open before me, and I'm seeing a hand pointing on that book. And God is saying, "Is the season of these people? There is something He's doing." Paradu shadikata paradusia seasons your season there's nothing that will stop it when god has opened that is the season is open bring them out oh, 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 oh. Turn again the captivity of Zion. We were like them that dream.
hallelujah who is Jeremiah I'm hearing a name Jeremiah who is Jeremiah is there a gentleman called Jeremiah you're wearing a t-shirt Jeremiah is there someone like that Jeremiah what's your name come I want to pray for you Alandes Calibra Katosh Calibri Gadusia Hesiva. There is a man of God here. You are stepping into the prophetic. There is, I, I just saw like an eagle. And every time I see that, this is a symbolism of the prophetic. The Lord has been training you. You do not even know that He's calling you into the prophetic ministry. In the name of Jesus, may that hand from Zion rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Jeremiah, in the name of Jesus, you two stand here where they are here. I want to pray for them now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I decree and I declare, my God, I'm seeing light coming upon you. And the Lord is saying, He's shifting you to new levels. This is what I'm hearing. Don't ask how it will happen. It will happen by the Spirit of God. I release that anointing upon you right now. Take that grace by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please don't lose focus over what God is doing. Shalega Baruskiata. Grande Gadusia. I'm seeing an anointing coming on this, my people. Lift your hands. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus. Take that grace. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. New dimensions of power. The Lord is bringing you into new seasons. New seasons of grace. New seasons. New seasons of power. New seasons. In the name of Jesus, new seasons of authority. The spirit of delay is about to leave now. The spirit of delay, I'm about to declare. Please bring those people outside. Everyone under the apakatos kataya, under the yoke of delay, at the count of three, shout the name Jesus. Are you ready? One. Two, three, shout Jesus. I cast that spirit now. Delay. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring them out. Delay. Delay in destiny. Delay of the manifestation of the hand of God upon your life. Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Yahweh oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Yahweh hallelujah I'm seeing a man here this man is a military officer I'm not you, you don't have to be wearing a uniform this man you are in the military I don't know who that person is whether you are in here or outside I can I can presume that there are so many people but this this is someone you're a military officer I want to pray for you you are not wearing you're wearing mufti but you're a military officer who is that person is he a military officer where hold on please two of them okay you were saying something you are a military officer you are a military officer sir where sir I want to pray for you 
please just bring them out. Something is happening here. I'm seeing something that is very strange. I'm seeing the right hand of people on fire. And the Lord is telling me he's placing something upon that hand. Just the right hand. This will happen all over the congregation now. Like the right hand of people literally burning with fire. Literally burning with fire. And the Lord is placing something of substance and glory upon your hand. Madam, this woman on red, lift your hand. I'm seeing an angel pour oil on you. I stretch my hands. Take that grace now. Bring out. There is an anointing that is coming on the worship team. The Lord is, I'm seeing you people climb ladders. And the Lord is saying, he's about to announce some of you. There are some of you in a strange way. He's about to aparakatos kedina katia. Locating you and lifting you. It will happen by the Spirit. Madam, where are you coming from? Hold on, please. Where are you coming from? You are in this Abuja. I want to pray for you. Listen to me. Your days of crying has come to an end in this country. I don't know you. But the hand of the Lord came upon you. And I'm prophesying to you that that which makes for shame and reproach, my God is taking away from your life. Sir, this man, lift your right hand. Shout Jesus. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, that name, there is an anointing that has come on you. I'm seeing the Lord is shifting you to a deeper dimension of wealth. This is what I'm seeing. Deeper dimension of wealth. I pray for you, the military officers. I don't know why God asks that I send for you, but I stretch my hands right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. May that grace rest upon you to be located and to be lifted. To be located and to be lifted. Let me prophesy to someone here, whatever cloud has covered your glory so that those to see you do not see you, to place a demand on that grace. As I pray right now, fire is going to come on people. I decree and declare, I tear that fail now. I tear the apatoska debata. I command that fail be torn now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm hearing a name Faustina. Is it Faustina? Faustina or Faustina? Faustina. I'm hearing a name Faustina. Is there someone with that name? Faustina. Please verify. Don't make sure that. Where are you coming from? Abuja here. Faustina. Hmm. I I'm not one person who stands to give prophecies and all of that not ready for people's trouble but I just saw something right now what is the symbol of the judiciary huh? we have to pray that balancing scale eh? I just saw it in a vision and I saw it fall to the ground and break we have to pray for the judiciary in this nation something is happening very seriously this is what I just saw I would not say this if God did not ask me to say it like I said, I'm not, I don't want people to come and be debating and talking nonsense. I don't have that time. But I want you to write this down. Write this down. I don't come out and speak stupidly. I saw that balancing scale of the judiciary just fall to the ground to break. That means God is saying something is wrong. We have to pray seriously. Are we together? Kenneth. 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 I'm hearing the name Kenneth. Kenneth, you are wearing a white dress. Kenneth. Is there someone like that? Kenneth. Kenneth. 
my dear place your hand on your stomach i want to pray for you in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit they will not tell you fibroid is growing in your stomach in the name of jesus christ i curse it right now kenneth i want to pray for you madam this woman come your season has come Stretch your hands. The spirit that is back of the challenges in your life, in the name of Jesus, it comes under arrest right now. I'm seeing fire burning you from head to toe. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I curse you by the God of heaven. Let her go. For upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and even holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession be released right now we release the sound of the heavens sound of creation Yahweh is here we release the sound of the heavens sound of creation Yahweh is here we release Yahweh is here. We cry holy, holy, holy unto Yeshua. Shekinah is here. We cry holy, 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 holy unto Yeshua. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. But Ken, my own Ken, I know you are a pastry chef, but I'm seeing the Lord move you and connect you to another like a like a bigger hotel i'm seeing that anointing is on you it's coming on you and the lord is saying he's connecting you in a strange way you will marvel and wonder at what god will do through you in this city it is the anointing what do you do my friend ah huh? are you a student yes sir but you know you have the destiny of a man of God. Yes, sir. He's called you into ministry. Yes, sir. But you are in a season of training. Yes, sir. Be careful with wrong associations. Eh? God will help you. But all this overzealous thing in ministry, don't waste your time. Just focus and let God build you to be a solid vessel. Can I pray for you? Yes, Lift your sir. hand. I pray that the anointing that makes for encounters, may that grace right now come upon you in the name of Jesus. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. This man, please tap him for me. Where are you coming from, sir? I'm in Abuja here. What do you do? Don't be embarrassed. I'm a pastor. I'm doing a little business. <laughs> My friend, look at me. Um, man of God. I will... Please look at me, sir. Don't be embarrassed, but I will link you to somebody to help you. Hold on. I'm, I'm not, help, help is not. Help means with what I'm seeing, huh? Don't be embarrassed, but this is not ministry. There needs to be a total overhaul. Like, complete. This is. Don't be embarrassed, like I said. I believe that God brought you to help you. You see, you can be in error sincerely. You, you get what I'm saying now? You can be incomplete. If I intend to go to Lagos and I turn towards Kaduna, and I fire on four cylinders. I'm sincere, but I'm on my way going somewhere else. And in meetings like this, I'm not, you know, we're not a family that condemns and point fingers at people. Are we together? Once the hearts of people are open, God is willing to help them. But I need to pray for you. Man of God, look at me. I love you with all my heart, but something needs to leave you now. I stretch my hands. I curse that spirit. Lift your hands. Right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let him go. In the name of Jesus, let this be the beginning of a new season for him. Now, in the name of Jesus, and you, my friend, this man, I'm seeing something come out of you. In the name of Jesus, release him now by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In Jesus' name I pray, be gone from him. I'm not, I'm praying against something I'm seeing. Let it leave you now 
in the name of Jesus. So this man of God, I will link him up to someone who will just help you. The Lord will honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please be silent, everybody. Just bring all the people who start shouting now under the anointing. Please bring them out. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Hmm. There will be many, many of them. I'm literally seeing it's like a smoke, just smoke, cloud of smoke, just moving all the overflows everywhere. Please bring them out. And I will restore, and I will restore, and I will restore, and I will restore. 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 No power will hold you down. And I will restore. Someone, you are a foreigner. You are not a Nigerian. You came in here. And I will restore. That anointing is touching you right now. Please, don't you think we're wasting our time here? God is visiting people. Definite visitations is giving people tonight. Parakatoshka Let them go right now. Release their destinies by the power of the Holy Spirit. We're already entering the deliverance session right now. Usually, I will ask the instruments to play, but the Lord is telling me to shut everything down. I'm praying. I told you it's not about the ritual of it. It's about alignment. Now please hear me. I'm seeing two words written. And the Lord is saying as soon as I announce that word. All those who have been victims of it. That deliverance fire is coming upon them. Two words. I'm seeing one reproach. I'm seeing one shame. These two words. Right now I stretch my hands. Everyone here. Kabari Katoshia. Bring them out. The power of God is bringing deliverance right now for individuals and for families. Shame and reproach that everything that makes for shame and everything that makes for reproach it comes under arrest now. There is a lady, there is a mighty deliverance coming for you. You are a foreigner. You are, not a, you are not a Nigerian. You came here in the name of Jesus. I don't know where you are, but let that fire touch you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please play the strings for me. There is an anointing that is breaking business failure right now. This is what I'm seeing. Of course, I know everybody, but there are people who are calling to this and there are people who there are yokes that are holding their hands down. You will be surprised to see what happens now as I pray. In the name that is above all names, at the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. Everyone here involved in business of any sort and it looks like the devil has held on to you. This is koinonia. This is the house of God. At the count of three, I bring you victory and liberty. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Bring them out. Babu wani kamaruka Ya Yesu Babu wani kamaruka Babu wani kamaruka Ya Yesu Babu wani kamaruka Babu wani kamaruka Ya Yesu, babu wani kamarka.
This is very strange. This will be the first time I'm seeing this happen. Usually when the Lord wants to touch states, the map of Nigeria would appear and then a hand will point to me the states that the Lord wants to visit. And I'm seeing an anointing and I'm seeing plateau states. This is, I'm seeing the anointing just touching and bringing visitation to people. Now, you belong to that region here. The power of God is touching you and then extending to all those who are connected. In the name of Jesus, I declare, let this happen by the Spirit now. Let this happen by the Spirit now. Let this happen by the Spirit now. I'm taking in a vision. The same map is open to me and I'm seeing a hand touch emo state. Right now, I stretch my hands. Emo. Anyone who, help them please. This is a sign and a wonder how God does these things. That all those who are connected to that territory, something miraculous begins to happen. Madam, this woman, no, not the back, this one lifting her hands now. This one. Where are you coming from? Plateau State. Huh? I'm from Abuja here, but I'm from Plateau State. I want to pray for you. Your life is about to change. You believe that? Yes, sir. What do you do? I work in a non-governmental organization. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. There is an anointing. Leave her. Leave her. I'm going to speak to her too. Where are you coming from? Abuja here. Huh? Abuja here. I want to pray for you. Will you be embarrassed if I talk to you? The Lord wants to take bad luck from your life. I'm looking at you, but in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing a human being with no face. And the Lord is saying, I should pray for you. Let me pray for someone here. If there is anything that has taken away your identity in the realm of the spirit, because you see your identity is what distinguishes you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be restoration now. Help her please. Rest Restoration now. In the name of Jesus, this is my sister. I stretch my hands towards you and I pray. May God lift you in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God lift you in a way that will surprise you. There's someone you've been having severe pain who will soon begin to pray for the sick. Severe abdominal pain. This thing started October or November last year and it has not left you. The pain is there, severe, sharp, severe pain. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus, release her now. Release her now. Release her now. I have searched and searched all the earth. Searched and searched all the earth and found that Bawani Kamaraka. I have searched and searched all the earth. Searched and searched all the earth. And found that No one like you, Jesus. No one like you. No one like you. No one like you. No one like you, Father. No one like you. Master, you're the God of everything, no one like you. Your faith in God and your faith in the vessel that he uses is the third key that connects you. Third key that connects you supernaturally to the power of God. Now I want to minister deliverance by the power of God. Listen to me. What is deliverance? It's a separation between you 
and the obstacle it does not necessarily have to be a spirit most times it's a spirit the gentleman holding the passport come come please hurry up we have to we have to rush ah. who is this king of glory the Lord the Lord mighty in battle amen where are you coming from I want to pray for you as I saw you lifting that passport the Lord said I should use it as a sign to release your entire family uh, where are you from not where you are you're uh, from Imo State, sir. Imo State yes sir lift your hands who is this king of glory the Lord strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle amen for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen for thine is the power and the glory forever and ever amen i stretch my hands my friend in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, may that anointing come upon you for the sake of your family members. Whether they are following or not, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I bring liberty right now. Passport is a token that gives access. Therefore, every door that has been closed over you and over your family, according to the word of the Lord, you are given unrestrained access right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now let me pray for you. Hmm. Separation. Most of us, like I was sharing when I was giving the charge, there are spirits that are back of the many symptoms we call problems. The symptoms are there, but let me tell you sincerely, it is not just the financial problem or the marital problem, or the whatever problem. Most times, there are spirits that are back of it. Jesus said, lose hand, I mean, he um, it, it told the woman who was bound that she should be loose from her infirmity for 18 years. When she was loose, then he laid hands on her and the healing happened. The healing would not happen if the spirit is there. So I want to pray for you now. You will be surprised that for some of you, even before we begin to pray for the sick, and let me tell you this, when it is time for testimonies, testimonies is not only for healing. Some of you, under the anointing here, you get up and find out that something has happened to you. When it is time for testimonies, you can join them too. And let's hear what God is doing in your life. It's just that there's no time. That's why we just limit it. To healing miracles alone but there are some of you once you came here you would be surprised that things would just shift like that i hope you came with something as a point of contact tonight remember don't worry a time will come we'll lift it but now i want to pray for as long as i live the devil will not find peace As long as I live, Nina Kane, you have bought me with a price, Nina Kane. That as long as I live, Nina Kane, you have bought me with a price, Nina. Do you know why I sang that song? If I buy something and you come and hold it to take it away, what are you called? One more time, what are you called? If this body belongs to the Lord and another spirit wants to come and cohabit, 
Deliverance is simply asking the landlord to claim ownership. Landlord, rest upon your property so that everything that is not you, when you see empty houses that are unoccupied, people can come and squat there temporary. But when the owner of the house comes and he wants to find his place, every squatter will go out. I want to pray for you now. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. And as you shout that name, please, I want you to help those under the anointing and then bring them out. We're going to be very fast here. There are spirits sitting on the destinies of men. There are spirits responsible for disfavor, responsible for wickedness. There are spirits responsible for all kinds of atrocities. We want to bring them under arrest now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I decree and declare by the anointing that breaks the yoke, by the spirit of grace, every family here represented, all our viewers following from across the globe, following from your homes, if there be any entity that is not of the Christ, causing all kinds of problems, as you shout that name, Make sure you shout it, those who are falling from your homes everywhere, that the power of God right here on ground and through the airwaves will rest upon you and bring that permanent separation. Are you ready now? At the count of three. One, two, my God. Three, shout Jesus. Release their destinies now. Please bring them out. Release them now. Release their destinies now. Powers of witchcraft. Powers in the air. Territorial spirits. Sitting upon the destinies of men. Bring them out very quickly. In the name of Jesus. We arrest you now. We arrest you now. We arrest you now. We arrest you now. Please, whether you're an usher or not, just help the ushers. I'm sure their hands are limited. Whether you're an usher or not, someone is under the anointing. You can do well to just help them bring them to the front so that we'll save time. We're still going to pray. There are families under all kinds of yokes. You will still shout that name again. This time around, not just for yourself, but for everyone connected to you so that even if they could not make it for your sake are you ready now father visit families may your fire and your anointing burn off altars that are speaking against the glorious destinies of families at the count of three one two three shout jesus we set altars on fire in the name of Jesus Christ, we set yokes on fire. Let them go. Let them go by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let them go. Open your mouth in one minute and begin, begin to declare your release. I declare liberty in the name of Jesus will never be a victim of any orchestration of foundations, yokes of darkness, manipulations of witchcraft. Is someone praying? Release your children. Release your destiny. Please pray. Release your ministry. Release your business. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me two families. You are from Kogi State. The Lord is taking away the spirit of death. I'm seeing this, my God. 
Parakatosia, wherever that family is, represented in whoever, whichever individual is here, I command that sword of death to be averted from your family now. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name. hallelujah now i'm seeing there is someone you've been trusting god for a visa to meet with your spouse abroad and you've not been able to have that visa this has been for a while is do we have someone like that here it's time for you to go now come please make sure you verify Spouse, spouse, spouse. Give this man the mic. Let me. Don't. How long? Three years. You've not seen your wife? Yes. Where is she? She's in Poland. And I came here for a visa. And I was denied. Ah. Where are you coming from, sir? Huh? Lagos. Lagos. Yes, sir. Your spouse? My spouse is now in US. Your cousin? My wife is in US. Is in US? Yes, sir. And you've not been allowed to go and meet her? Yes, sir. Do you believe in miracles? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not saying if you are looking for a visa, it's good for us to listen. We're in a prophetic atmosphere. So please make sure you understand what we're saying. Spouse means someone you are married, you are married to that you help her, help her now. Your name is to be hallowed. Madam, this woman, please tap her for me. You believe in miracles? Yes, Lift your hands. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus. I want to pray for you. Listen, the Bible says the heart of a king is in the hand of the Lord. And like the wave of the sea, God will toss it here and there. It is not spirits and angels that are in the visa offices. They are human beings. And in as much as they have a modus operandi, let me tell you, God is able to show mercy and to grant you grace. We are not praying here as a way of downplaying the due process. No, we are people of order. But I am telling you that God is able to step in. And many of you will be surprised. Who is doing an appeal? You are the one doing an appeal. Your paper is behind Your here. paper is there. Go and bring it. I want to pray on it. Your name is to be honored. Now let me pray for all of you in the name of Jesus. Two of you right now, the power of God is coming on you. This is, I saw something that just came from the earth into you. And the Lord is saying it must leave. Two of you among those standing here, I stretch my hands. I don't know what demonic thing came from whose village for whatever reason but in the name of Jesus the son of the living God it must let you go now two of you the anointing of the Holy Ghost please help that woman so she doesn't fall with her child out of her now out now ah, 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 ah. Please 
please lift this man up for me. Sir, look at me. Where are you from? I'm from Lagos. State of origin? Edo State. I want to pray for you. Please don't be embarrassed. This is a family that loves you. The kind of witchcraft I'm seeing on you. Because I'm seeing you inside a coffin. This is what I'm seeing. I'm not even, it's not even that somebody from the realm of, I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm going to pray for you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a man who is already here. And I'm seeing the month of July. You are on your way towards Auchi. And I'm seeing an accident. Yet the thing has already finished. I stand by the God of heaven who called me. And I decree and declare right now. Oh death, hear the word of the Lord. Let him go now. I command that spirit, help him, out of him, now! If there is anyone here, the pronouncement of death or a programming upon your life, you are walking but already it looks like you've been finished from the realm of the spirit. We have been given authority even over the grave. Right now I pray. Anyone here appointed unto death, be delivered from death now. Can I surprise you? The person who will help you is here now. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord show you mercy. I'll leave it at that. Go. Now for all of you, in the name of Jesus, ah, please don't be embarrassed. The Lord is giving me a very serious God bless you. I've prayed for you. Please, you can go back. Now, there is something serious I want to pray for now. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. But there is someone here. There is a spirit that is not, you are not a bad person. But when this spirit comes on you, you can steal anything, even if it's inside the bank. You are not a, a, you are not a wicked person. This is an addiction you have fought and fought and fought. It's not like you're a criminal, but this thing has brought you embarrassment. I want to pray for that person now. I usually would not, I would just ask you to save yourself and sit down somewhere, but I want to pray for that person. Please, if you're here, don't waste our time. God wants to bring you deliverance now. This addiction of stealing. You came here sincerely and it's in your heart. Come and stand though. Let's appreciate them as they're, if there's someone like that coming. Praise the Lord. Please, when you identify them, allow them, if they are coming from outside this place, let them come to stand. I want to pray for them very quickly. Very quickly. Can be male or female. When it has to do with demons, it doesn't matter whether you are. Please. God bless you, my dear brother. You are not the only one. I want to pray. This is a family of faith. In fact, hold on. Let me use the opportunity right now. This is a family of faith. And I'm not going to mention any particular thing, but if you are a victim of any kind of addiction, any kind, addiction is something that has control over you. When it comes upon you, you have no control until it destroys you. Come and stand here right now, quickly. God wants to set you free. Quickly, please come and stand. God bless you. Anything at all. Addiction is destroying people. Don't sit back there. You know that this is your chance. Come and stand before Jesus. And while you stand, be praying. Don't just be looking at me. Please hear me. You don't have to come. If you have a child, you should. If you are the one who is who is the victim of this, please come. The Lord will be setting you free. But if you are standing for someone, maybe your spouse or a child or whatever, please just sit where you are for the sake of space. Move forward, small. Those of you in front, they are so. Are you, are you seeing? Look at this. 
Now, this is not to condemn them. Listen, my, my beloved people, look at me. We are a family that loves Jesus and loves you passionately. It is the job of the church to build and to help. So there is nothing to be embarrassed about. Just make sure that as you are coming, you are really sincere to be free. Quickly come. Addictions, my God. Ah, 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 ah. Setting up the same, your name is to be hallowed. Now, listen, please look at me. Let me explain to you something. Listen carefully, our viewers around the world, and then you who is here. Please, if you are following also online and you are a victim of any kind of addiction, this is your chance to connect. All those people coming from where now? Please, um, if, if, the, if the hall is full, they can just stand where they are or, if, okay, if those who are already inside, they can just stand in the straight line there and then others can stand in front of their LEDs. It's the same effect. If not, this place will soon be rowdy. Let's just take it easy. Please, protocol, be easy with them so that no one... People, you see, these precious people are coming because they are tired. Can I tell you, counseling can only go so far. In helping addictions drunkenness masturbation pornography every kind of thing there are spirits and let me tell you the truth it is not about being good or bad it's about being a victim of wicked spirits these spirits are territorial I'm sorry to say it but most of them come from social media most of them come from movies that sometimes we just expose our spirits in the name of westernization and we pack all kinds of demonic luggages you gather 10 people and i can tell you seven out of every 10 people are suffering addictions but can i tell you you came here for a miracle service because some of you let me tell you what happens look up please let me teach you how these spirits work you see the moment a great door is about to open, that urge comes. And the moment, whether it is drunkenness, whatever, that door is closed forever. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hold on. There is, there is one person here, you inject yourself. Who is that? Let me see your hands. Like, I'm seeing a syringe. Now, I don't know if the injection with what, but I don't know if it's inside. Or, don't be afraid. Who is that? I'm seeing something that has to do with a syringe. Who is that? Help this lady. I hope she's not falling under the anointing. Like a syringe, like giving yourself shots of injection, literal injection. I don't know what you are injecting. There are people who snuff this thing they used to fix tire of car what is it called huh now do you think any right thinking human being with his brain will go and bend down to snuff that thing it's a spirit now do you know why this is a lesson to the body of christ most of these people you see have at least one christian near them but this our obsession for condemnation is why people just keep quiet and suffer in silence nobody wants to be stigmatized and to be made, you think these people standing are wicked people? Some of them are more sincere and honest than most people you know. Until the body of Christ returns to the place of love, genuine love, we will keep losing our people to Satan. Let me tell you, all of you who are standing here, I want you to know that number one, I love you sincerely. And number two, you will be delivered now. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand. Repeat this prayer after me loud. And at the end of it, I'm going to pray for you. Those standing anywhere at all. And then 
those outside, those maybe addictions following. Um, respectfully speaking, I know that many of our Western people who are connecting, please don't think because you are in America or Europe, a spirit is a spirit. Addiction is addiction. And you can open, mama, you can stand in for your child. Parents, you can stand in for your loved ones. Say after me, Father, have mercy on me. Say it again, Father, have mercy on me. Say in the name of Jesus, I declare as an act of my will that the spirit responsible for this addiction by my God-given authority I choose life I choose freedom from that spirit therefore from tonight I declare my liberty in Jesus name get ready the power of God is coming on you right now at the count of three Satan you had your confession the Bible says for with the mouth confession is made unto salvation they have declared their liberty at the count of three every spirit responsible for any kind of addiction at the count of three go now one two three go 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 out of their destinies out of their destinies Parakatoshkadia. i break that addiction go forever in the name of Jesus Christ and every altar servicing that addiction in the name of Jesus I come against you now anything you cannot control has become a God over you be free now be free now now look at me just two instructions to help you. For those of you who have listened to my teaching on the mystery of deliverance, there are three stages to total deliverance. And I'll be, I'll be teaching you, we'll soon get into the series. Number one is freedom from the spirit influence that is back of whatever issue of concern. Number two is called deliverance through transformation. That means your mind has to be exposed to renewal. And then number three is called the discipline of conformity. You have a role to play. Say for instance, if yours is drunkenness, and then you still go back to the bar, chances are excellent that when you see all your friends and colleagues, and you see those bottles of beer sweating in the cold, brought out of... Uh, 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 the freezer, you will go back in, in, in that thing again. Can I tell you? Change your friends. Did you hear what I said? Ch don't insult anybody, but change your friends. Some of you, you don't have one good friend. One good friend. A friend to a thief is what? Are we together? So I beseech you by the mercies of God. Now that you have received this, please be grounded in the house of God. Go to Koinonia Global. You can get the teachings. Listen to them for your renewal. This is, not, this is a battle for your destiny. Number two, you can on Tuesdays, our prayer department meets at the DOA. Uh, you can, whether you are a member of prayer band or not, you can come even if it's just for two weeks and come and stretch with them and learn and allow the spirit of grace to help you in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone among you people standing here you are soon going back to your seat but there's somebody that God needs to deliver from anger you can use your physical hand and kill when you are angry it's not you it's a spirit it's about to leave you now don't worry you don't have to tell me you are the one if you are the one the anointing will look for you now huh? anger like I'm not talking of just this rage you literally can hold a human being and until that person dies you will not leave him it's not normal remember what I taught you 
right now every wicked spirit male or female I don't care what every spirit of anger can I tell you look at this look at this listen do you know when people come to me for counseling or they are ready to get married before I start asking them any question the first thing is proper deliverance from these things when you marry somebody you are marrying everything they came with the assignment of a man of God is to help you edit those wicked things before you get into your home that's why you see men who can get angry and tear their wives into pieces and say sorry and do it again or you can see a woman who will carry hot water from the from the pot and put and spray it on her husband and say sorry and do it again in the name of Jesus the spirit of anger not just for those who are out here but for everyone here if there is anyone who is a victim of the spirit of anger right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead be delivered now in the name of Jesus now please let's be patient and appreciate them as they quickly return to their seats please let there be huh? the person injecting himself who is that this lady oh my god let the rest go let she can stay please stay darling I'll pray with you right now eh? the devil is a liar in the name of Jesus Christ those under the anointing can stay please the rest if you are moving please move quickly we are still we're about to pray for the sick now is someone seeing what God is doing in this place this night Your name is to be alone. Where are you from, my dear? From Edo State. You are from Edo State? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. You believe that Jesus can set you free? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. Whatever spirit makes you to inject yourself, as painful as injection is so, you can see. It has to be a spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, please look at me, don't feel bad. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I command now that spirit and that influence, it leaves you forever. Yeah. Is someone agreeing with me over this lady? You see, the secret, hold on please, and, and we teach this in, in the school of ministry. One of the secrets of ministering effectively is to put yourself in the shoes of people. It's called compassion. Compassion fuels the anointing. If you, are, if, you are, if, if you imagine that this is your sister or your daughter or your wife or your relative, then compassion will well up within you. For as long as you think this is some stranger somewhere, she's from a do state and I am here from another place, you will not be able to help people that way. In the name of Jesus, as the house of God, we declare you free. Yeah. As the house of God, we declare you delivered. Yeah. We will never lose you to Satan. Yeah. The Lord is showing you mercy. Yeah. In Jesus' name I pray. Yeah. Amen and amen. Let's pray for the sick now. Let's pray for the sick. Please look up. Why is the healing ministry important? Let me teach you something very quickly and then we'll pray for the sick. Why is the healing ministry important? I will tell you why. Because every man is spirit. Please look up. Man is spirit and every spirit resides legally if it is to function in the earth here it resides in a body are we together and for as long as you have a body you have the legitimate ground the authorization to function within the earth whatever deteriorates your body to a point where it no longer becomes functional is administering death to you because there is a threshold level of health that your body must have for your spirit to be able to safely reside within it. Are we together now? The assignment of Satan is to ultimately lead you to that point of separation by deteriorating your health condition. 
it can come in any form. So when your health is deteriorated beyond a certain threshold, what happens to you? Satan now ensures that your body is separated from your spirit. So every time we minister healing, it is a way of preserving your life so that you will have that body to be able to serve the purposes of God. He says, a body has thou prepared for me. Are we together? Except through understanding, as you age and as time passes because of the wear and tear of this body, naturally medical people begin to tell us that you will begin to see certain things and I have found out that about the most common of these things for men, prostrates, high blood pressure, uh, what do we call it again, paralysis and all these things, um, what do we call this sickness where your mind is not coordinated again? You start forgetting things and all of that. You see that now. And then of course women, it comes as all kinds of things. But I want you to make up your mind. I know there are doctors here, I respect you and I respect whatever it is that you have studied. I want you to believe that the word of God becomes the definition for your life. For as long as you start believing some of these things, they subliminally start programming you. I am 50 now. I expect enlarged prostrate. And the devil says, you are, thank you for welcoming it. And you receive it by faith. Are we together? You have a right to reject anything at all that is not of God. Reject it. And stand with faith and in faith. Why am I saying this? So that when we are praying for the sick, you don't say, since my own condition does not necessitate admission in the hospital, I am fine. Remember what I taught you about the devil? The moment he tests you and you allow him unrestrained, he will move further to bring another version of that thing. So right now that I want to pray for the sick, please, I want you to release your faith that anything that does not represent God's design for you as revealed in Scripture, it is time for it to leave. Yeah. Is someone in agreement? Please rise up on your feet. While that is happening, how many of you have your prayer requests here? All the overflows to the basement, outside, those following online, now, we'll do two things at the same time. Number one is our ushers will be collecting the prayer requests now. What I want you to do, please still write. If there are things you need to write, I'll give you one minute very quickly. You want to add something, your faith has been enlarged, and you still want to add one or two things, write it down quickly. And then pass it. May I request that you pass it to someone maybe by your left and right let there be one person who has nobody will read your request just pass it for ease ushers please you can begin to walk around very quickly so that we'll collect it if you're still writing just take a minute or two and write believing the Lord to step in for you you heard what the Lord did in the life of our dear one who testified writing something in the prayer request unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come very quickly very quickly medical reports terminal situations unfavorable conditions for you, your children, parents, spouse, company, business, church. The Bible says be anxious for nothing but in everything. So there is nothing that should be left out of the scope of prayer. In everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says let your request be made known unto God. Let your request be made known unto God. Be anxious for nothing. Philippians chapter 4, we start reading from verse 6. You find that and it says, And the peace of God will garrison your heart and your mind. Very quickly. Now I want to pray for the sick. Listen. I have seen the healing power of Jesus. I was so touched by the testimony of our dear sister, 
Look, the miracle that Jesus did for her husband, literally, from the dead, and then correction, brand new organs. The mighty God is able to do this. I want to pray for you now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, please lay your hands. Why do I ask you to lay your hands as a point of contact? It's a way of releasing your faith. Before God stepped in, we're talking about the three components that must be present to create an atmosphere of the supernatural. One is passion for God and complete surrender. Number two, we agreed that the second key that I wrote here is deep, heartfelt worship. Number three is faith. Now you are about to exercise your faith. I hope you know that faith is simply obedience. Obedience to the word of God, obedience to the demands that commit God to your life. Without action, you are not walking by faith. It's as simple as that. Faith is more than confession. Faith is more than believing. Faith is your action. Now here's what I want you to do. We are not going to take too much time. The moment I begin to pray for you, others, as you fell under the power of God, miracles began to happen to you, all kinds of supernatural connect, cor um, corrections. Do you know why we ask people to come out when they are healed? It's not just to show that the man of God is powerful. No. You see, it, it, with all humility, at, at this point in ministry, there is nothing to prove again. God has honored himself beyond contention. But the goal is, in coming out to testify, three things happen. Number one, you help the people to see the power of God on display truthfully. Number two, it acts as a seal to what you have done. Are we together? The Bible says we overcame them by the blood of the Lamb and by the word. Yes. The word of your testimony is part of the weapons of your overcoming. So I'm going to pray for you right now. All the overflows outside following all our viewers across the globe. As I pray for you right now, immediately I want you to begin to send in your testimonies for those of you who are out, outside of our, the local environment. And for those who are here, the moment I ask you to come out, to come and testify, do not be afraid, do not be ashamed. I want you to come out, we'll take a few testimonies, then we'll pray over re the requests and I prophesy into your life. Are you ready now? Please lay your hands and begin to pray one minute. Jesus, step in for me with your mercy over whatever condition it is. Mention it. Please pray. Don't tolerate anything that does not look like Jesus. I'm beginning to lose hearing. Don't tolerate it. I'm suffering the issue of blood. Don't tolerate it. I'm beginning to have whatever symptoms. Don't tolerate it. It looks like I'm having heart palpitations, breathing problems. Don't tolerate it. Lumps all over my body. Don't tolerate it. Talk to Jesus. Jesus, step in. Step in over my life. Step in over my destiny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In one of the visions that I had, as God began to release me into the ministry, I saw I was in a place and it was like the hospitals were closed. It was like a curfew. But then there were people lying down, some sick, some lifeless, you know, just littered across an open space. And I was outside and I saw them. I felt very, very terrible and irritated by their conditions. And they were looking up to me, and it was in the night. And it looked like these people were hoping that I would do something. And I heard a voice. That voice spoke to me, and it said to heal them. And that is why what opened me up to the healing ministry. I really believe in the power of Jesus to heal. I believe. I believe. He heals. He heals. He healed yesterday. He's healing now, and he will heal forever. The healing ministry is one of the cardinal components that puts the power of God on display. Are you ready now? Let's pray. The 
the saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now holy 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 are you lord the saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now holy holy jesus something is happening here I'll sing it one more time. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. I was given an example about this a large prostrate, but it's not just an example. The Spirit of God is ministering to me that He's healing someone of that condition right now. It's beginning to happen to you. This thing happened from when you were around 55. It started. All of the symptoms that show an enlarged prostrate. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. I stretch my hands and I decree and declare. Everyone here who has any blood condition. You've seen Jesus change genotypes here. You've seen Jesus remove all kinds of things from your blood. Every stranger in your blood that should not be there, in the name of Jesus, I flush them out now. I flush them out now. Be healed right now. Yeah. Migraine headaches, the Lord is healing migraines. Yeah. Very severe migraine. Be healed now. Yeah. Every damaged organ in your body, we declare a brand new organ now. Yeah. The pelvic area for someone You've had severe, severe pain. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is bringing you life and healing right now. Please believe it, you are receiving something right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Eye conditions. For one of you, you are just beginning to see its symptoms of, of, of a very severe eye problem. And for others, it's been there for a while. It does not matter how long I command eyes be open now. Yeah. Honestly, I'm sensing a very, very strong anointing. There's someone, your chest, your chest, that demonic thing around your chest, I declare be released from it now. Yeah. Th this, is, this is not like you have fever, but many times, your tongue just tastes bitter very very bitter for reasons you do not know and the moment that thing happens it comes with ill health it looks like a, a severe case of typhoid but you've treated it is returned you've treated it is returned is a demonic thing right now i stretch my hands be healed in the name of jesus christ every blood condition i'm repeating it again hiv in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Hepatitis, be healed now. Sugar diabetes, be healed now. Severe waist pain, the Lord is healing severe waist pain. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone, I don't know what it is, at this side of your neck. As soon as I'm done praying, I want you to check yourself. You will see that a miracle has happened right now. Let that demonic growth leave you now. Amen. There is someone, you are not in the main auditorium, but you are losing your teeth. I've prayed over this kind of condition before. Something is happening and it's like your, your teeth, your gums or whatever is weakening. And if you have been pulled out already and I'm seeing that more of it is, is like it's weak. The power of God right now is bringing you healing and restoration. 
now anyone who is on crutches anyone who is using an aid to walk I declare life and strength to your limbs now be healed in the name of Jesus Christ every deafness partial deafness total deafness I command that ear to be open now someone there is like a growth in your truth but it's inside it's not like thyroid but I don't know what it is it looks like it, it, it looks to me from what I'm seeing like it's a boil but it's inside you with severe pain not it, it looks like tonsillitis but it's not tonsillitis wherever you are right now as I'm praying the power of God is resting upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ every joint pain hear the word of the Lord I declare be healed now now every other situation whether I mentioned it or not in the name of Jesus Christ I am praying for you inside outside everywhere I bring you life and healing in Jesus name life and healing in Jesus name life and healing in Jesus name I want you to check yourself right now everywhere check yourself I want us to celebrate miracles for a few minutes check yourself the moment you find out that something has happened to you now or as at the time I was praying my God I'm seeing people coming out celebrate them very quickly you find out that a miracle has happened please I want you to be bold walk to the front right now and there will be people here to receive you. Let's take a few testimonies. Please, very quickly. Koinonia, is this what you are doing? Is this the best you can do? Check yourself very quickly. Miracles are happening right now. Do what you couldn't do before. Stretch, stand, walk. Let someone speak over you. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing here? I believe yes lord i believe yes lord i believe you're the son of god lord i believe i believe yes lord i believe yes lord i believe you're the son of god one more time we believe say Jesus is bringing miracles. We believe you're the Son of God. Hallelujah. Are we ready? Yes, sir. God bless you. All right. Please listen very carefully to these testimonies. Hallelujah. Whilst you are listening, the power of God is also touching you. And those of you who have received miracles from across the globe, do well to send in your testimonies immediately. We'll have a few testimonies and then you'll be done. Now, very quickly, go ahead. So, Apostle, this sister here has had migraine for like five years. Migraine. And what happened to you now? Praise the Lord. I, I came with a very severe headache, which is, I'm very used to it. So I came and I was like, maybe it has started again. I went to the restroom to watch my eyes because of yes. my heart in iron. And, my and what happened now? I went to collect my stomach. But when, during the service, I felt a cold sensation in my body. Yes. And everything has Completely gone. gone. It never returns to you again. In the name of Jesus, celebrate Jesus. So, sir, interestingly, you mentioned the case of yes, my brother, yes, particularly sir. for this lady when you were praying for her, and she has an amazing testimony to share with Go her. ahead. Yes, please. Praise God. When Papa was praying for a woman that had a fibroid, and I was down there, I fell onto the anointing, and later I, I was checking myself since then, and I, did, there is a swollen here before, but... Oh, there, there was a swelling. Yes, you could feel it yes. right now. No, Check it. I, 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 I tried check. I was trying to press my stomach to see if I can see that soul. I it's, gone. it's gone. Are you, are you celebrating Jesus? Look at this. Came with, with an evident swelling and now it's gone completely. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. So for the past three, four days now, I've been having serious pain 
inside my throat. Okay. I can't, whenever I'm swearing any saliva, saliva, I feel serious pain. So I had to visit the pharmacist. They gave me this thing to be taken. Yes. From time to time. And I have a tablet too. But immediately you just called that. I felt this, as if something Something melted. just. And I swallowed saliva. I want to swallow saliva. I had to take one of these, put in my mouth before I could feel it. And right now. I feel better. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those with high defect. Hers is astigmatism. She couldn't look at bright light, but now she could look at light. My, you couldn't look at bright light? For how long? Um, it's two years now. Uh-huh. Yes, and right now, I can you can look at this light, yes, and it has no effect on you. My goodness. Are you celebrating Jesus? Complete healing for you right now. Yes, please. Very quickly. Severe back pain for the past one year. You couldn't bend down, but now you could bend down, bend my down friend. comfortably and Bend down. Any pain. Any pain. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. You gave word of knowledge of those with severe chest pain. Her mommy has had it for about some years now, but now, Mama, how four long, years How now. long has it been? Like four years. Four years. Yes, sometimes it blocks... Uh, it's like there's something there. So sometimes when I'm eating, it sort of chokes. And what happened to you now? I can't feel that. Completely. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Any pain. Let's celebrate Jesus for what he's doing in the life of our mother. It will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Pastor Jakes. Yes, go ahead, sir. So, Apostle, sorry. Medical thing. We're actually verifying an interesting okay. testimony here. Wow. Please come. So she had, she suffered a stroke. A stroke? Yes, sir. And amazingly, God touched her. What As happened, my dear? What's your name? And Good evening, sir. My name is Abby. Whilst the woman was giving the testimony about her husband who had Are suffered this, can, stroke, can you amplify the volume? Technical I, help us with the volume. Okay. I um, said to myself, I said, her own is more than mine. That means I can get my healing. And whilst I was sitting there, I started moving my legs. It, it How was, did you come here? I, I could move, but I always felt the okay. small, small yes. thing. And then on my lips as well, it's, it's numb. It was numb. Your and lips? Then, yes. And then whilst you were praying, my head, if I held my head like this and shake it, it would ache like it was very heavy. But as you prayed, there was a cold sensation. And even as I'm doing this. My dear, look at me. Look, she's even surprised. Walk. Walk as fast as you can. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? Name above, say, name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change? Can you imagine? The devil would have just destroyed the life of this lady. My dear, she's surprised. Look at this. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, we agree with you. That devil goes now. Never to return. In the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. All right, sir. So, Apostle, again, Mama here has been experiencing severe pain. Aside from her finger, then it actually moved into other locations. Are you seeing what God is doing now? Yes. Mama, what happened to you? I told God today to give me a first time miracle. Even here. Yeah, I took paracetamol here today while sitting when I came since. You took morning. paracetamol here? Yes, sir. Yes. And now I'm not feeling any. Check yourself. Check yourself. Look at this. Look at this. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord will honor you and perfect everything that concerns you. In Jesus' name I pray. Are you ready? Go ahead. Oh my God. Look it's at mighty, this. There's a mighty miracle here. Look she, at this. She was supported. She couldn't walk. She was supported to come here. My dear, But the power of me. God talked her since last year. Oh, uh, look, look how the lady is. My dear, look at me. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke that spirit. I lose you right now. Let her try. Look at me. She was headed here. She couldn't walk. She couldn't walk? Yes. Walk. Walk. Apostle, this is her mother. Oh, this is her mother? Yes, sir. Mama, 
What is, are you her mother? She, yes, she was the child for uh, uh, National Hospital on Friday. What happened to her? Just like that, he fed her. Does this thing look just like that? Every power masquerading as circumstances to plague your life. In the name of Jesus, I curse it now. Look at how the devil wants to destroy the destiny of this precious lady. Just like that? No. Stretch your hands towards her as the house of God. In one minute, let's declare perfection over this miracle. Lord, this that you have begun. This lady will not die. This lady will not die. This lady will not die. In the name of Jesus, whatever is wrong, we bring correction and perfection. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Very quickly. There are two cases of swollen hands. She said last year, since she gave birth, her hand got swollen. And Let me hear her. What happened to you? Straight to the point, madam. Okay, Apostle, I gave birth last year, December 13th. So my hand began to swell up gradually. And then... Your hand? Yes. This place precisely. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Begin to swell up. And then I could not move it very well. And then if I move, I have this severe... Pain. And right now? And right now, I receive... Move it. Look at this. Since she gave birth, she could not move her hand. My dear, in the name of Jesus, you are healed and you are perfected by the power of the Holy Spirit. Affliction will not rise a second time. In Jesus' name. It's another case of swollen hand to heal by the power of God. What happened to you? I came back from work on Friday. Nothing happened to my hand. My hand started paining me. I could not sleep in the night. Yes, this night too, I could not sleep. But immediately I stepped down here. I could bring down my hand. I could use it to stretch myself. Raise it dance. up. Bring it down. Raise it up. Any pain? You are perfected right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, sir. So, Apostle, God has touched another mama. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right, so mama came in from Joss, and she actually said she actually came in, she was taking some drugs, and I think I'll... What happened to, to you, ma? I had uh, pains, waist pain, and then uh, abdominal pains. When you were praying, I was having severe pains. I even took my drug when I was inside my car coming from just but when you were praying after the prayers it's gone now it's check gone. yourself any pain any completely in the name of jesus it will never return to you again amen. by the power of the holy spirit amen, amen and amen who is ready yes so we we have this brother that had pain i have abdominal pain it has been long it come up and stop but when you are praying for someone that have abdominal pain so i get in and hold my hand on my stomach but and right now, it's gone. gone. Yeah. It will never return to you again Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those with prostrate enlargement. Now, the power of God is breaking out here to the Father in the go. Prostrate. So, the prostrate. difficulty in the urination. So, immediately you prayed that prayer, he called his brother and he asked the brother, the Father, to go and ease himself. And now the Father is jumping, healed, but Jumping powerfully. Where? Here. Where is that? In Enugu. Enugu State. In Enugu State, yes. My yes. goodness. I, said, I brought all their prayer requests and I submitted it just now. But while they were praying, after the prayer, I called my, my mom and I told my dad to try and ease himself. And he told me he's feeling ease. And just now, my brother just called and told me that he's jumping up. He's been healed. Enugu State. In the name of Jesus, let there be a supernatural miracle. Perfection. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Let's see if we can take two more or three more and then we'll just pray. I'm, I'm really interested in this prayer request. Yes. You gave word of knowledge of cases of ulcer. He ulcer. has had it for two years now. The power of God came upon him. The pain disappeared. So he went to the medical personnel to check it and now the ulcer symptoms are gone. In the name of Jesus, place your hand on your chest. I decree and declare right now, let there be perfection for you. It will never return in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, a very interesting miracle here. Um, so, let's hear you first. Sir, he's lived with migraine headaches for seven years. He got used to it. 
I may you been... never get used to wicked and evil and difficult things Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I've yes. been passing through this headache for more than seven years. My, I call it my normal sickness. Like yesterday, I, I live my life like that. Headache is normal to me. But I was here sitting down, I was feeling it small. So I didn't feel it again. And also in my jazz tree, I fell down from a tree. Hit my waist and You chased. fell down from a tree? Yes, sir. And I can't like bend down. Throughout last day, I couldn't do any serious Bend sport. down now. If I should bend down for like five minutes, I will start shivering. Bend so down I, now. I tried to bend down and I still feel myself okay. There is nothing. Oh my God. And just when I was having difficulty, at times my breath will start like it will cease. I complained to my parents, like, at times my breath will, will just stop. And, and right now you are healed. Life. Amen. I declare perfection for you in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, uh, Apostle, let's see. Apostle, in summary, you migraine, back pain, head pain, all of them healed by the power of the Most High. Okay. Now, let, let me just stretch my hands. You know, I love seeing elderly people healed. They deserve peace in their life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, perfection for you. In Jesus' name. We'll take so one Apostle, or two more we here. need to hear this. Yes, sir. Please come. So you gave an accurate word of knowledge regarding a lady with, you know, feeling bitter taste in her yes. tongue. Absolutely. Who is that? Amazing. Okay. Um, whenever I got a new job, I usually feel bitter man. Um, whenever? I got a job. Okay. I'll feel bitter mouth and all of a sudden I'll feel sick and I'll lose the job. And it happened to me this week. You see and what we are saying? Very demonic situation. This is not an issue of sickness. What happened to you now? Um, I'm completely. No completely. Everything you have lost, let there be a restoration for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a restoration for you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. So Apostle here, several cases of migraine and, you know, healings in the truth. Migraine. I'm seeing... The doctor is dragging one lady here. It's like she wants us to hear her testimony. Oh, glory to Jesus. I was blind, but now I'm healed. Straight to the I point. I am healed. I, I could not use these eyes, these eyes, to see anybody from far. It's Which like one? This one. How long? It's due to diabetes for the past three years, but it happened like a year now. I can't oh. read. I can't see anybody. Yes. But today, I could see you from the screen, from where I sat down. I can close my eyes and I can close, identify Close the one that was walking. Yes, this is one that is walking. And I could read from what, this, this. Don't time. worry. What can you see? I can see four. Hallelujah! Five! Your complete hands. I can see. I can only see. What can you see? Two fingers. Thank you, Jesus. What can you see now? I can see three, four, Look five. Thank you, Jesus. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Can I tell you, losing your eyes is not a good thing. Believe me, believe me, losing your eye is not a good thing. There were miracles that Jesus would heal one and leave the rest, but not blindness. When he saw blindness, he insisted that their eyes were open. In the name of Jesus, we agree with you as the house of God. Thank you, Jesus. Perfection for you. You go back and you live a normal life with joy. This is what you get for coming to the house of God. In Jesus' name. And diabetes, by the way, you said it. We, 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 we curse that spirit right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Uh, for the sake of time, we may not be able to take all one by one, but can I agree with you? For all of you who have received miracles in the name of Jesus, it remains permanent with you. And I decree and declare there will be no resurgence of those illnesses and those issues of concern. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you very much. Please rise up on your feet and stretch your hands here. 
all the overflows just stretch your hands we are praying right now I want you to stretch your hands and begin to declare our global family I'm praying over the request now I believe in the ministry of prayer and prophetic intercession when we pray like this it is because we believe in the God that can hear and can act unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come I want you to stretch your hands and begin to declare that in the name of Jesus I receive answers by faith I receive answers by faith to everything that I've written here for those of you who came in um, and, and brought requests for your loved ones go ahead and, and release your faith in the name of Jesus Christ are you praying all the overflows you are praying now Lord step in do the impossible do the impossible remember the last component faith release your faith God is doing miracles right now Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For as long as I live, I will never stop interceding over the desires of God's people because I know that we serve a God who answers prayers. Are we together? I want you to believe in every declaration that we'll be making here. It is not, we're not acting. This is not just some show. Believe me, you will get answers to this request. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over these requests and I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead that these Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. Every spirit that is back of these tragedies, we declare, let judgment come upon them now. In the name of... Mike, that is working. Praise the Lord. Okay, thank you. For those of you who have put timing, timing to your requests, in the name of Jesus, it will not delay by a day. Let me repeat it again. If you have put timing on your request, I prophesy to you, it will not delay by one day. Whoever has vowed that this request will not be answered, in the name of Jesus, we overturn. We overturn. We overturn. We overturn. We overturn. And we give you what is rightfully yours. Every system and every structure that needs to come under the influence of the Spirit for this request to be answered, we put pressure on them now. 
in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I stand upon this prophetically and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ it will never be an issue of concern for you again the Lord gave us an instruction to come with any point of contact lift it up now if you came with any point of contact your credentials your whatever it is now this is not ritual we are doing this based on the understanding that we are bringing a token a point of contact whatever you can lift your hands if there's nothing in your home whatever anything that is a point of contact please believe believe in prophetic instructions do the impossible do the impossible do the impossible I stretch my hands over these points of contact whether it is your credentials whether it is your employment letter whether it is your your business whatever whether it is a court case whether it is a summon from the court whether it is a real estate project a project with institutions systems and structures whether it is papers for your ministry papers for travels in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God prophetically I lay my hands on every one of these contacts and I declare I command them to bring back joyful testimonies for you I command them to bring back joyful testimonies for you the Bible says for everyone that asketh receive to him that seeketh he shall find and to him that knocketh the door shall be opened every closed door over these things lifted I stand by the power of the prophetic and I command those doors to be open now hear me for some of you after this service they will call you and by that call you will know you have stepped into a new season everyone lifting your credentials by faith trusting God for a job in the name of Jesus Christ we shift every space that needs to be shifted and we create space for you for all those who are holding legal documents in the name of Jesus if there be anything against you we plead mercy and if anyone is lifting a medical report or anything of that sort in the name of Jesus Christ for you or for whoever you are standing in for let there be a testimony now I declare those documents anointed I declare them graced may they produce results for you in Jesus name I pray now please listen listen I, it just it just occurred to me I don't know why I didn't say it the whole of the month of March we are going to be dealing with the subject of deliverance demonology and spiritual warfare listen I told you that I want to teach you this I want to settle down please open your spirit by the grace of God God is going to be opening our eyes there is a lot of ignorance in the body of Christ as to the operation of demons foundations yokes destinies the mystery of the blood how to command and walk in perpetual victory the time has come so the entire month of March we're going to be dealing with this extensively let your hearts be open our global family be sure to God is going to be giving us explanations and he will be making sense out of the things around our lives in the name of Jesus Christ but for now let me speak over your destiny favor let it begin to speak for you honor let it begin to speak for you speed let it begin to speak for you may every closed door be opened now let every disappointment be turned to your testimony in the name of Jesus May the hearts of your destiny help us be open for your sake. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Hear me, I pray over your hands. The spirit of poverty, of lack and of shame, of not enough. I come by the power of prophecy and I declare, shift to the realm of abundance. By the spirit of grace, in the name of Jesus Christ. As you travel, I decree and declare, you heard the gentleman who said, or, or is it the lady? From the airport, entered a cab and someone just drove with them into the forest. Can I tell you, if it will be for your kidnap, you will not enter that car. If that plane will crash, you will not be inside. But if you are inside, may it never crash. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you and I pray for your loved ones. Anyone who has been marked to be a victim of kidnapping, a victim of whatever demonic thing, we send angels ahead to stand before them. In the mighty name of Jesus. And based on the revelation that God showed here, we pray for our judicial system in this nation. That everything that is a conspiracy that is not of God, that wants to crumble the judicial system, we plead the blood. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord show mercy over our judicial system. In the name of Jesus. Everyone in business here receive the grace for excellence. Everyone in ministry here, go and be a sign and a wonder. For all those who have traveled from out of this nation, you have come. This anointing you have received, as you return back, it will be evident in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to sing. You need Jesus as I begin to sing. Please make your way to the front. There's no need coercing. There's no need cajoling. You need Jesus. The first time you are making this genuine decision or for you you are saying I, I am rededicating my life as I begin to sing that song I have decided please let's let's allow them to come wherever you are you are saying apostle please pray with me as I lead you to Christ please come very quickly I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back keep coming i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turn are you still coming join them very quickly i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turning back I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I'm seeing a few people coming. Please come quickly. I want to lead them to pray. Quickly, quickly, rush so you come and join. Those of you in front here, I'd like you to lift your hands. Thank you for coming. It pays to know Jesus, pays to serve him. Lift your hands. Say after me, let it be from the depth of your heart you are speaking to Jesus, the captain of your salvation. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you that you are the son of God. Right now, I hand over my life and my destiny to you. I receive you as my savior, as my Lord, and as my king. From tonight until forever, I belong to you. I am a child of God. I am saved. Thank you for accepting me. Amen. If you didn't pray that prayer, whilst you meet the counselors, please make sure they pray with you. It matters that you confess Jesus with your mouth and believe him with your heart. I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus. Let the power that saves, let that power that empowers you to live a victorious Christian life, may that grace rest upon you right now. I declare your sins forgiven. I call you recipients of the life of God. From tonight, you go forward ever and backward never in Jesus' name. There are at least 10 of you from my counting here who did not say that prayer. Please do well, counselors. You may do well to help them. Thank you all the same for coming. Let's celebrate them as you move to my right, which is your left, all of you in concert. My right, which is your left, the counselors are there to receive you very briefly. 
thank you very much for your patience. You've been stretched a bit tonight. Just two announcements very quickly, and then we're done. Um, the medical team, our medical, the medical department is in need of more hands. Uh, particularly, they are looking for pharmacists and physiotherapists. Um, I'm sure they are open for all medical people, but particularly pharmacists and physiotherapists. So you are a pharmacist, you're a physiotherapist, and you want to be part of our medical team, please you can go to the medical stand immediately after the service. Just be patient and they'll attend to you. But the department is generally open. You are interested, you are a medical person, paramedic, you want to become part of the uh, medical team, please do well to see them after the service and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Final announcement, all workers, please look forward to details from your heads of department as to when we'll be having the next workers' meeting. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Let me sincerely appreciate all who have come, all who have traveled far and near. May the Lord bless you and honor you in the name of Jesus. You will never be the same. In Jesus' name I pray. Please rise up on your feet as we share the grace. After the grace, please be very orderly as you go out so you don't injure yourself. And you can do well to give someone a lift um, as God grants you grace. In Jesus' name. I declare that your weak beginning is blessed. In the name of Jesus, the mighty and the marvelous hand of God is upon you. Your life will be a clear testament that this is your season of light. The hand of God is upon you. I declare that your passion for the things of God will never go down. Your passion for prayer, your passion for the word, your passion for evangelism, and your passion for the kingdom will continue to go from glory to glory. The Lord bless and protect you. In Jesus' name I pray. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore.